The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick. And alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians, because Derek's not here. First, the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Whoa. Yeah, that was pretty good, man. They like you here. What's up? <laughs> What's up? Uh, and also another guest. He's been on this show before. It's been a while. It's been a long while. But uh, very popular traveling stand-up comedian, <laughs> Ginger Crush Steve Peters. Do you, yeah. go, do you go by Esteban still or no? No, it's Steve Peters. Okay, I, I got fine. rid of the Esteban that's thing. That's fine. It didn't work. G- Ginger Crush maybe, though? Nope. No? Nope. Did that get, more, Peters. that get you more respect to Taco Bell? <laughs> yeah, it did. It did. It really did. I went from getting extra <laughs> cheese sauce all the time to getting no mild sauce. Uh, Just hot. That's yeah. all they'd let you have. Yeah. Steve Peters wouldn't know a taco from a burrito, but exactly. Esteban Petros knows his exactly. shit. Exactly. <laughs> he invented the gordita. Yeah. Um, but anyways, welcome into another episode. This is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, 95% of the time they're targeted towards me. Steve can't figure out a fucking bottle opener to save his life. I got it. (laughs) Uh, but also this is an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and make loud noises. So if that's not your thing, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thanks. Bye. Okay. Guys, we got a lot of sports to go over as usual. We've got a lot on the docket. You like dockets, don't you, there? I do. I yeah, think they're great. Love, I've been on several of them. You love docking. Yeah. Uh, the, but, well, the courtroom I've been in. Right. Uh, as Still <laughs> one of my favorite 80s metal bands. <laughs> docket. <laughs> okay. Uh, Jeremy's a, it used to be a band manager back then. I the did. Band. Yeah. He's I managed did. lots of great bands. I, I did. I, I used I to manage the Sleazy yeah. Weasels. Yeah. Nice. My favorite, though, Clans Gender. Yeah, Clans Gender. I used to <laughs> manage them. <laughs> to each their own. So. That was Clayton Bigsby's favorite band. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, but anyways, yes, we do have lots of sports to go over. We're uh, now at the end of week 18, so the regular season has stopped. We now get into the playoffs. We have some predictions. We got real shit, horse shit. Bad advice with Jeremy, which is everybody's new favorite uh, favorite segment. Uh, overrated, underrated questions for Guntas, another draft, and as always, a shitty situation. But I do have questions about the overrated, underrated. We'll get there. How does that work? We'll get, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, but we will get first to uh, what happened to us over the last week. We call this our week, week recap. And mm. as always, the guest starts first. So, Steve. Oh, I who wasn't. are you? And what the fuck have you been up to? I was not prepared. No, I, uh, okay. My name's Steve. Yep. I, uh, <laughs> I was asked to do this podcast <laughs> at the last minute. I'm going to blink a bunch of times. If you're watching this, please come rescue me. <laughs> no, no I, uh, I ended up helping the Looney Bin Comedy Club in Wichita uh, all weekend. I was their announcement guy and door guy. Nice. Yeah. Because mm. nine, or let's see, there's nine employees, seven of them have COVID. Fuck. Wow. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Thanks, no. buddy. So yeah, I was uh, I was able to help out. Uh, I have lots of friends there, so it's it's yeah. good. And everybody's good. They're they're good now. That's so good. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, un- unfortunately, uh, one guy died, but it, it, was, it wasn't you know. <laughs> but it was, he, uh, he was very <laughs> insignificant. He died in a civil so, war yeah, reenactment. It, was, it had nothing to do was, was with yeah, COVID was, at all. Yeah, actually, <laughs> yeah. He got he took a bayonet to the lungs. Oh, yeah. I thought it was a Baldwin kind of scenario that may have happened. Is what I was guessing. <laughs> <laughs> It, it wasn't. I was wasn't. messing with the cannon, and I didn't know it was loaded. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, so wh- what's been going on, man? Since you've been on the show, you've been traveling a lot more? I have. I was uh, I was living in the uh, Los Angeles area for a while. I love it out there. Um, Why? I've been. Ah, it's good, man. It's, <laughs> I, I, it's not here. Yeah, okay. You know? So it's, it's good. Um, I've got uh, Minnesota coming up later this week. I don't. <laughs> Don't, don't book Again. me, please, in Minnesota in January. <laughs> yeah, but I was... guess I'll take it. 
Holy crap, dude! That last week their high was negative twenty four, uh, and I'm yeah. not a I'm not a, a cold guy at no. all. So that's why I'm. But I'm gonna swing over to Chicago. You're more of a flu guy, right? I am. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're more of a more of an AIDS guy. Swing to Chicago and see if I can get shot there, and then <laughs> head head back here. I guess. So I don't, well, actually, no, I'm not. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. That's I've a, got <laughs> uh, I've got a lot going on. You there. sure do. So, you yeah, sure do. Yeah. Uh, so you helped out the the comedy club. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. It, those of you guys who have never had or watched an episode with Steve being on here, uh, I, I, we're watching right now. We're watching the uh, the national the college football national championship game. He's so. getting ready to tell you I'm a degenerate gambler. That's that's exactly He's not what I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm not. It's it's a very well known fact that Steve uh, Steve likes to bet. Um, so yeah, any, it made any crazy bets lately? Any chess tournaments uh, or anything like that? Anal bead tug of war was really <laughs> the last one. That's when bigger girls, bigger girls are tighter. They oh, really? Older. So yeah, that it's was it's it. actually very strange with that because yeah. there are no winners. No, no, no. So yeah, how they, do you they know? They want to kind of pop them out, but then you you just oh you wait for that one chick that clinches and then rips them out <laughs> like you're starting a lawnmower. You know, that's the. It's, it's messy. It's in a pool. It's in a pool. That's how it happens. Thank so it's goodness. Good. You find uh, a girl with hemorrhoids, it's like the jaws of life. Just yeah, grabbing a hold. Yeah. 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 Chantel, like Chantel, a Reyes, oh my God. Chantel Reyes was the uh, 2022 champion so far. Uh, That's great. Beautiful girl. Beautiful. Big old piles. Yeah. She oh works my. at Kohl's on the weekends. So, yeah. She sells uh, discount she's Nikes. In, yeah, she's in customer service. She, and, yet, sure. and yet she's still. Avenue 9. And yet she still makes more money than any of the superstars from the WNBA. Yes. Yeah. 100%. So. 100%. 100%. Well, great. I'm glad to have you on the show. Missed you. Yeah, me uh, too. Both of you guys. But uh, I had a I had a pretty awesome week myself. Um, Good for you. I did. I did. Oh, I got to take uh, the new uh, championship belt to the bar. That was uh, that was awesome. Everybody loved it. You you got Are to. You it's sure? your. It's, it's mine. Yeah. It's yours. I know. Of here's, course, here's, here's you didn't I, get to. It's not like you were granted special permission by the president. Here's that what didn't I, come by way of congressional order. It's your property. You can do what the <laughs> fuck you want with it. Here, I would prefer you had it run over with your car. Here's, here's what I envisioned happening. You know when like a Make a Wish kid would bring something like this into a bar, and yeah. everybody's like, "Oh, buddy, that's yeah. so cool!" Yeah. Oh, are you a that's, champion? Yeah. Who's that little champion? How short was the bus that you rode here? <laughs> That's what I think actually happened with this, bu- uh, it was, this belt. It was actually pretty cool. Uh, I, uh, my stepdad, I got to hang out with him at the bar, and he was who I, I beat in the championship game. Who so. the fuck doesn't want to hang out with their stepdad at the bar? Bam. <laughs> right. Uh, but I got to hang out with him and uh, show off the belt. It, really, everybody loved it. Again, thank you very much to Trophy Smack. I, it's a fucking awesome belt. I hope he slapped you around. <laughs> he kind of did. Good. Uh, but I also I learned how to play craps for the very first time. Really? Yes. Oh, that's the greatest game on planet Earth. It can be. It can no, be a fucking nightmare, too. <laughs> I love it so much. It's, it's my so, favorite it's, thing to do. It's so, co- it's so I good. I have never won more money in such a short period of time than I did on a hot craps table once. I've also never lost money so fast. <laughs> as I have on a fucking craps table. The yes. only time I've ever been kicked out of a casino was when I was playing. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Why did you get kicked out? Uh, it was the first time I'd ever played craps, and my friend, he has, he's way more of a gambler than me. Like he has a Jesus really Christ! Problem. Jeez, no way! No, this is exa- his name's Dixon. You're That's the little brother in your he, fucking club. I, I huh? really am. I really am. He cashed out his four hundred one. He found out that his girlfriend was pregnant. That week, he cashed out his 401k, he worked an aircraft. <laughs> we went down to Biloxi, Mississippi for a World Poker Tour tournament. <laughs> we put on suits like we had money. He did, kind of. I didn't. I had three grand. He had like I've seen grand. this in Rain Man. Yeah. We put on suits. I'm like throwing dice at the dice table. I'm winning money. I'm betting, like giving all the dealers money, everything. And he just walks up to me and goes, we got to go. <laughs> and I was like, I'm not going anywhere. And this security dude who's like your size steps out from Dixon. He's like seven feet tall. He literally is. And he goes, if you're with him, you're leaving. And I was like, what? And he hands me a comment card. My buddy lost every single dollar he had. And this was right after Katrina. And he wrote on the comment card, Carolyn took all of my money. I hope her whole entire family dies in a Category 15 hurricane. <laughs> This place can suck my dick. And he put in, peri- in like, whatever, in little captions. He goes, five and a half inches when fully erect. And then, like, dude, just roasted him. And I was like, 
I was like, oh, my God, we have to leave. <laughs> like, we have to leave. And we, we got ushered out, and it was 1030 in the morning. There was kids at the pool and stuff <laughs> like, when we were leaving. And we had to walk back to our hotel, and it was it was like – it was it was bad. It was uh, a really bad deal. The it the was, new you know what the worst part of that is true story. It's a hundred percent true story. Uh, it true. can't be. There's no category fifteen hurricane. <laughs> I, that's what I said. <laughs> that's probably why they had him thrown out. Right. His, his lack of knowledge on environmental science. <laughs> Who the fuck is that on top of the comment card box? <laughs> that they were like, oh, we saw one. Let's grab it, and then read it right then. <laughs> And he did. I, he lost like ten grand. That's I mean, insane. We have the new segment on this show, uh, which is bad advice. Uh, that would have been exactly what yeah. Jeremy would have suggested. Yeah. So I, uh, there you go. Bloxy's like Vegas. They don't ever turn off the booze or anything. It's wow. Fun. Yeah, it's really fun. Okay, but uh, anyways, last uh, lastly, uh, it ended up being kind of a rough week because uh, we lost. Uh, I, in my opinion, he's a, he's a decent uh, stand-up comedian, which is uh, Bob Saget. Oh, he's amazing. I think he's decent. Uh, his last special I wasn't very impressed with, uh, okay. personally. But right. um, good, uh, I don't know, guy that we've known forever since Full House. Is, we've yeah, never met Mr. him. Mr. Tanner. We've known him pers- on yeah. a personal level, yeah, man. Sure. Yeah. You know? Full Full House is now now a little Uncle bit Joey emptier. wouldn't be shit without Danny. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Uh, that show's not shit with him. <laughs> That Come show on. fucking sucked. <laughs> However, <laughs> he raised those two twins to be horrible crackheads yeah, or whatever. That's right. It's great. It Pretending great. they were the same person. Yeah. 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 And now, I, I will have to say, as a kid growing up, that uh, Candace Cameron was my first childhood smoking crush. Smoking hot. Mm-hmm. She is so yeah. much hotter now than she used to be. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. I, I agree. Uh, I she like, went like, I like fucking loony. I liked America's Funniest Home Videos. Oh, yeah. That and I, was there, too. So I had seen him in America's Funniest Home Videos and and uh, whatever, Full House. Yeah. And then I saw his stand-up. <laughs> Night and day, isn't it? Holy oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> that well, dude was, like, filthy. After, <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah. yeah, he did this awful HBO special after Full House was over because he was so desperate to show everybody that he's not really Danny Tanner in right. real life. Yeah. And it was just, just vulgar... Shit. I mean, there was no jokes was to it. It was just him. One? Mm. I don't no, know. that was the aristocrats. <laughs> I know, but I thought he was. I thought he was in the aristocrats. Yes, he he was, but okay. he did his own HBO stand-up special. But it was just him oh, talking about just okay. different things that could go in people's asses and stuff. It was <laughs> kind of like the way we there opened was, up. There was the show. no no humor to it. It was just him being dirty and vulgar. Yep. Again, kind of like this show. Yeah. <clears throat> but uh, I guess I guess the last thing I did, I watched uh, Free Guy. Which is a, a new movie that's out. By the way, Scotty, I'm, I'm sorry for your loss. Yeah, thanks, man. Uh, but Free Guy, good movie. If you haven't seen it, it's great. I love great. it. Go hey, ahead and go. How was your... What did you lose? Huh? What did you lose? For what? You're sorry for his... Wait, what? I just... I, well, you, Bob I, Saget. Bob Saget, yeah. Oh. He's got my condolences. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because apparently he's pretty fucking torn over. <laughs> yeah. Torn up okay. over this shit. Yeah. Okay. Him, 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 John Madden, Betty White. Already gone in 2022. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How was your week? Coming. How was your week, Jeremy? <laughs> Keep them coming. <laughs> <laughs> Same guy. <dice. laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Grim Reaper is just just having a field day on that claw machine yeah, right now. For sure. Yeah, for sure. Can I can I tell my yeah, uh, my story about uh, getting kicked out of a casino? <laughs> sure, yeah. if you want to. I got kicked out of the. Uh, the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. <laughs> real? Are, this is real. Yes. Oh yeah. God. Uh, it was about three in the morning. Um, <laughs> I'm walking through with my my friends Jamie and, and Matt Yoga Matt Yoga Matt. Yep, this was before Matt got into shape. By the way, um, <laughs> Matt's in tremendous shape now. He used to be about 240 pounds. And uh, anyways, we we had been doing some drinking and going nice. up and down the strip. Yes. And there Sorry. there was a section of the casino that was closed off where they were doing some construction. And Matt sees this two wheeled dolly. <laughs> And he goes, dude, check it out. And, and he can say this because he's half. He goes, check it out. It's a Mexican Segway. <laughs> and has to start wheeling him around on this fucking thing. Well, there's like, and there's there's nobody around watching us, but there's like a club nearby, and one of the bouncers over there sees it, <laughs> see what's going on. And he just comes over, and he's like, all right, guys, you're out of here. And Matt, like, wants to keep joking with him. And it's very clear this guy is not fucking around. <laughs> he was as serious as could be. And it's like, Matt, dude, don't 
don't play here. <laughs> I'm going to have to sneak back in here. My room's here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that I was... got kicked out of the fucking casino I was staying at that <laughs> night. They had fucking rooms at, where did they stay? They stayed like the fucking Tropicana or some shit that night. Ew. But, uh, yeah, we were staying at the MGM Grand. I, <sighs> I think it was before they tore the Tropicana down when they were staying oh, yeah. there. Nice. Uh, I, for, I forgot the uh, ass end of my story. We, oh. went, we went back to our hotel. Jesus, she just got to fucking <laughs> one-up everything. No, 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 no. We went back to our hotel in Dixon. Uh, the room was in his name because he gambles so much he gets all the free rooms. Sure. And so he signed for our drinks because we had a few drinks before we left. Yeah. And thought that he had signed it correctly, and he didn't. He signed it incorrectly, <laughs> and they confronted us about it and then almost kicked us out of that hotel <laughs> But made us go to our room until 5 p.m. Like, we were grounded. <laughs> they go, you cannot come out of this room until 5 p.m. Otherwise, you guys are kicked out of here completely. Way to go. That was great. Anyways. So they just kicked you off the casino floor. They didn't actually. Oh, damn it. Calm down. Over Did here. he catch that? No. No, he didn't catch that. It, that. it bounced off the ground. Yeah. Sorry. Um, go ahead. So you didn't get actually kicked off the premises we got kicked, got kicked out kicked of the off hard the... rock casino in biloxi and then went to our hotel and casino at harris where we didn't sign the ticket correctly <laughs> <laughs> and they were like you're trying to steal drinks and then they forced us to go to our room until 5 p.m did Jesus. he sign it carolyn from the hard rock <laughs> <I guess. laughs> <laughs> that's great but how was your week over there jeremy uh very uneventful really very uh tell you one thing i did that i never thought i would do on uh, Sunday, uh, my Chiefs played on Saturday, so I didn't yeah. really have a whole lot of football to watch. I was keeping track, flipping back and forth, but uh, I got enamored with uh, TNT was showing the sequel trilogy of Star Wars. Mm -hmm. I watched all three of them. <laughs> nice. And just really took a lot of notes about what I hated <laughs> about everything I was seeing. <laughs> I mean, I always knew that they were shit, but I never really broke it down from a technical standpoint of just what shit they are. Mm -hmm. And, oh, mm -hmm. my God, they're even worse than I thought. Which ones were worse? Uh, the episode one through three or episodes uh, seven through ten? Or it, well, uh, seven through nine. Episode seven through ten might be the worst thing to ever happen in the history of humankind. Seven through nine, I mean. It's bad. It's, it's, it's bad. Yeah, it, it's really bad, and it completely... At least the first three keep in line with what's happening in the story. Right. Seven through nine completely just... Make ah, make the rest of them worthless. Yeah, no, I agree. God, they're shit. They really are. I do yeah. got to give a lot of credit to my wife, though. She knows I'm a huge... Blame Disney. Yeah, no, no. I, uh, Kathleen something. Ka John yeah, Kathleen Fav Kennedy. Kathleen Kennedy's a cunt. John Favreau's a badass. Right, but uh, I guess what did we expect when a $150 billion <laughs> corporation <laughs> took over something we all trusted they would be you know, responsible with it? Yeah. No. Yeah, they start to think about profits over people. They do. Weird. That seems like a very I, weird. They're a fucking unethical company. Yeah. Is all that it? Around. Is that all you did? Yeah, but Walt will be unfrozen one day and he'll come back and save everything. Yeah, that's true. So it'll be all right. I thought about doing some other stuff. What'd you, like what? Just things, Scotty. Don't fucking worry about it. <laughs> 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 like woodworking or some shit? Yeah. Yeah, I thought about doing some. I didn't. No. No. Okay. Uh, okay. That, that. Fucking cold weather last week just really pissed me off. Yeah, it kind of did. It kind of did. But it's nice now. Yeah. And so every day I got up with good intentions this weekend to do something productive and never made it off the couch. Oh, my goodness. Steve got the fucking bottle open without having to pry it the, the fuck off. Time. Jesus Christ, give him that belt. <laughs> All right. The belt with my face on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man! Well, that uh, so that was all your week. That was your week. Nice. Yeah. Give me that. I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna make it here. You go. Wait. Uh, nope. Oh, got closer than I thought. Kind of. Steve, that's why I don't do stand up anymore <laughs> because I'm so fucking busy with all that shit. <laughs> I started building a bar in my house this week. I forgot. Oh about no that. shit. Yeah. It, okay. You want to come build another one? Yeah. You build one here. Really you cool. own a you, fucking I bar. I don't, like I don't like that one. There. I don't like that one. Really? It doesn't have any fucking storage in it. It's just what there. It's just literally there. We're talking about shit in, in the studio. Sorry. Okay. Um, anyway. But uh, we do have a lot of sports we need to get to. But before we do that, we got to give a shout out to our sponsor of every single episode, uh, Manscaped.com. They have. Oh, dude. It's the best. I re-upped uh, re on my, my trimming. 
over the over the weekend. So did I. That's something I forgot to mention. Well, we called each other and we, we were trimming together. Yeah, we were on the phone with each other. <laughs> was it FaceTime? We yeah, it was FaceTime. <laughs> like, That's exactly what it is. Picking up your taint. Not, <laughs> not face. <laughs> no. It no. was it was ball time. Yeah, it was nice. balls. Yeah, we were both time. holding up our own balls. <laughs> our balls nice. were talking to each I other. I was actually, I got to admit, Scott, I wasn't even looking at your balls. I was looking at the little picture of my balls <laughs> in the corner so that I could see what I was doing. Yeah, but we can see just fine because, you know, that lawnmower 4.0, it's got the adjustable right, LED yeah. light. It certainly does. Yeah. That's right. It's very adjustable. Yeah. My, uh, my wife, I had to buy one, and I use it to shave my face now. It's all oh, really? Yeah, no, it is. Because my wife shaves all of her parts, and she has, uh, like, steel wool as hair, I guess. So <laughs> when you try and shave after her, it's just blood everywhere. <laughs> oh, so I, that's all I use. I use Manscaped for everything. Yeah. that's uh, If I go sw- if I know I'm going to be a swimming one day and I might get into a competition, I sure. shave my entire body. <laughs> entire body with a fucking lawnscape, man, whatever that is. Lawn man, 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 that can man happen mower. at any time. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> that, so why did they not call it a man mower four? Why did they know. call it the lawnmower? It has it's to be the, the man mower. It's the lawnmower 4.0. They need to rename that Well, because it gets the whole lawn. Bush yeah, to tush, Bush dude. to tush, man. Yeah, but man thing. mower would mow the entire man. That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Uh, but everything, everything has its own uh, its own name for you know. I love that stuff. Uh, I really. Do. What if you did? It. You put it up Crazy. to your face and it just exploded. <laughs> <laughs> this is for balls. That's a, ah! that's a one point five, Jeremy. Sure, that's, that's why that's, they had to upgrade. That's why that they had shit. to upgrade. <laughs> yeah, too many <laughs> fucking explosions. That fucking pole rope is dangerous, mm-hmm. man. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they do have other products other than the lawnmower four They've got my favorite product, which is the weed whacker. If you got nose hairs, man, those yeah. uh, those those are. I mean the worst things on the face of this planet. But you don't have nose hair. I sure shit don't because oh. I use that one every <laughs> fucking day. That's, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah. uh, but they have other products. My The other yes. thing that I love uh, while we're watching the game is uh, they have ball deodorant. They have do. You, if you yeah. ever have sweaty nuts. Never. I've never had oh. sweaty nuts. My nuts don't sweat. When my I, nuts ooze stank. That's true. <laughs> when my nuts are shaved, they smell like vinegar. <laughs> I don't know why if I sweat in them. What? Like I'll go on a two-mile run and they just smell vinegar. Well, you definitely need the yeah, deodorant. That happens there. to me whenever I go on a two-mile run every time. <laughs> <laughs> every fucking time. Yeah. Uh, but they have other products that you can also check out. Uh, they've got the shears that we've talked about yep. on the show mm-hmm. as well. Uh, they've got the ball toner and uh, their newest product, which is the crop cleanser, which is, uh, I don't know, Steve, if you use uh, shampoo to, as soap sometimes. Are you that lazy like me where I will use shampoo? And any of the leftover a, shampoo, I, I'll use a soap. No, 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 no. I have a bar of, of ivory or uh, of <laughs> Irish spring. Yeah. And that works for my hair. Oh, yeah. And everything else. Yeah. That's what literally. the that's what the crop cleanser is. Is it, It's it's shampoo, but also body wash. It's, oh, wow. it's it all comes that's in one. Great. Can um, I just give a little bit of advice? Uh huh. This is not for riding crops. Do not use this to <laughs> clean a leather <laughs> riding crop. You will ruin it. That's yeah. very true. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, you can check them out at manscaped.com. Check out all of their pro- or products and use the promo code sidelines get 20 percent off your order and free shipping that helps you out that helps us out and that lets manscape know that we're reading every commercial word for word so they can leave us alone that's awesome uh but they're awesome manscaped.com go check them out now now we can talk about the fucking football game that we're sitting here watching we're watching Dude, fumbled the it and grabbed college it. football dick. play by the time that this episode comes out they already know the results of the game i know so, okay i know let's just go ahead and let them know that i bet the shit out of alabama he, i took the points did. on one booking or mybookie.com i took the not money a sponsor. line yeah and then the other <laughs> booking site that's not legal i took the points <laughs> I took plus three and Al- I took Alabama plus three. Yeah. Anyway. So as of right now, we're watching uh, Alabama go or play against uh, Georgia for the national championship. Mm-hmm. Uh, I believe the spread by kickoff is by three. Isn't yep. that what you said? Yep. Three. Over and under. What's the over and under? Oh, I have no idea. Uh, uh, 52, 52, and, a half. 52 and, a half. and a half. I think that's about right. Uh, so far, it's the game just started, uh, but uh, Jeremy and myself have, uh, we, I think we were pulling for Georgia regardless, but mm-hmm. I think we both think that Georgia will win uh, in the first three minutes of the game so far. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't know if that's going to happen, but you never yeah, know. Yeah, fucking Bama's blowing them out. Yeah, 
three, three to nothing. nothing. Three to nothing. <laughs> I don't That's know. like a it's, point for every it's, minute so it's far. It's oddly been a defensive game so far. Yeah. Very weird. If things keep up weird. at this rate, it's going to be 60 to nothing at the end of the game. One point for every right. minute. Right. Absolutely. But I uh, hope you guys enjoy uh, listening to this episode because you already know the results of the game. Yeah. Don't tell so, us who wins, don't motherfuckers. Don't fucking yeah. tell us. We, we want to find gonna out for ourselves. We're going to wait until next Friday. Right. Uh, but uh, that's college football. Now we get to get on to the fun stuff, the NFL. We had Week 18 uh, this last week. I don't have it on here, guys, but did uh, we, we talked a lot last week, uh, Steve, about uh, Antonio Brown losing his fucking shit on the, on the field, right? God, man, that's a shitty situation. No, it's a CTE situation. Uh, he has been very quiet as far as the media goes, talking with... Uh, kind of. Hold on, I'll get there. He actually ended up going on a podcast with uh, Bob. I believe it's Bob Mennery, if mm-hmm. I remember right, was on uh, on that show, and he talked um, over an hour about the whole situation of what he's claiming happened and all of this other stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, I even think he did a little rant about having CTE or not having CTE. I I watched about fifteen minutes of it, and I got so fucking infuriated that I just couldn't watch it anymore. I couldn't. I could. I can't fucking do it. Let me guess. I, He's painting himself as the victim here, hundred percent. Because as we all know, the most professional way to handle things is the way that he did, right? Because that's what mature adults do. I do. We still have any idea what really happened before he ripped off all of his stuff and left? Yeah. So as far as the, and this is from both parties. This is what Bruce Arians said, and this is what Antonio Brown said. That at the moment that this all happened, he told he was trying to get a B to go in and play. Right. Yeah, but he said his ankle was hurt. He said his ankle was hurt. I mean, again, this is all he said, she said shit right, at this point right. of how yeah, healthy of he was. Yeah. Could he, was he good enough to play? Yada, yada, yada. But the whole thing was is uh, even in this interview on this other podcast, uh, he said uh, he's an alpha male. And if somebody, I guess, I guess Arians made like he goes, you're done. You're fucking done. And that is when AB lost his shit and started taking off his fucking clothes. He said, I'm not going to wear that logo anymore. I'm not going to wear your logo. That's why he took his pads off and everything else. Um, I believe Because that's not, reasonable. Reason, yeah, that's yeah, what totally. we would all do, I think, believe if anybody not, did that. Football coaches are dicks. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, they just are. Like, they yeah. really, I think it was Mangino when he was at KU. They were like, oh my God, I can't believe he treats people like this. Mm-hmm. Well, that's kind of how they all get treated. You know what I mean? Like, it's a, it's an intense, it's an alpha sport. Right. It's a combat sport. It's a rough sport. Um, but it's a team based sport as well. And that's what they preach from, from when they're in Pee Wee football yeah. all the way through. It's a team based sport, and everything that you do is, is for or against the team that you're with. And to walk out on your teammates like that, oh, yeah. I think is uh, is is pretty shitty. But I, I think there is some mental health issues going I, on, I'm 100%. and I think that I don't think anybody can say that there isn't. Right. I, I'm going to guess that typically coaches aren't that big of dicks to their players who work hard and try hard and have good attitudes. Yeah, yep. I, I think in the heat of the moment when he's like, "Hey, I need you to go in," and he's like, "Coach, I can't. My ankles hurt." I don't think that's how that transpired. I think coach mm-hmm. was probably, you need to get your fucking ass into the game or whatever. Sorry. Whatever. Uh, get your ass into the game. And he was like, I can't. My ankles hurt. And then it was like, all right, you're done. Is probably yelling and, you know, back and forth. Oh. And then he was like, all right, we'll screw you too. And then it's rip everything off and go. Yeah. Because it was all right, one up, one up, one up, one up, one up, one up. And, and that's probably, yeah. I think that's probably what, that seems to me, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, the 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 whole questions is, is the stuff. I mean, it, it is a he said she said or he mm-hmm. he said he said kind of thing. I guess. Um, how hurt was he? He's apparently going to have surgery on the ankle that he says was hurt. All this other shit's starting to come out. I'm sure eventually. The, uh, at the end of the day, he's probably called an injury attorney on a billboard somewhere, yeah. and this will all play out in court. Yep, somehow. And that's exactly what how this is going to come to a head, and I don't think we're actually ever right. going to get the real right. story. But the good part was, uh, normally, I think at least in, uh, in previous seasons, obviously this is the very first year that we have – uh, 18 games instead of or 18 weeks instead of 17 mm-hmm. weeks. Mm-hmm. Um, generally, whenever we're watching the last week of football, it's shit. 
It's absolute shit yeah. football. Yeah. Yeah. You have so many games that don't mean a fucking thing. It's dude, so dude, boring. And there were a lot of meaningless games. There were there a couple. Was, yeah. But the ones that meant something There was nothing that meant anything. Dude, great. Like, dude, the spreads are like college spreads now. They're like 15 and a half, 10 and a half. Yeah, yeah when like teams that, are missing half their fucking starters because of COVID. Right. That, that's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, but and the, that does throw another wrench into it. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, one of the teams that I that I liked later in the uh, in the regular season, the San Francisco 49ers, come back and beat the Los Angeles Rams to make it into the playoffs. Mm-hmm. They ended up sweeping the Rams this year because of, yeah. after they did that. And then on top of that, this was... I recall at an earlier episode, and I want a TikTok made of this, that Uh-oh. the NFC West will get three teams in. Is that what you said? I did. a boy, motherfuckers. You're right. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. But uh, apparently this was also the very first time that Sean McVay went into halftime with a lead and ended up losing. Very, very first time. That it's I happened. don't like that guy, and I don't know why. He, he looks kind of squirrely. Me, he reminds me of a boss I had one time, and I hated that guy. <laughs> and I think that's why I can't stand okay. it. He's probably the nicest dude on planet. He Earth. seems like a player's coach. I bet you he's yeah. the right guy. Probably. He's the Bob Saget of NFL coaches. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be dead. When he yes, takes those right, khakis he's okay. off, he is all business. Yeah. Uh-huh. So we had that happen. Um I, Th- this this next one though I I don't know how you guys feel, but I know it's not good. <laughs> the Indianapolis Colts, <laughs> fuck. Who yourself. didn't see this coming? <laughs> Who didn't see this? Like, this was you had the opportunity. You had your your future in your the fucking Indianapolis hands. Colts are to blame the for the Indianapolis the entire Colts. thing. You can't blame it on another fucking person. You fucked yourselves over yeah. completely oh, and yeah. ended up losing to the worst team in the NFL, the Jacksonville Jaguars. You have the most elite running back <sighs> in the league. Who got shut the yeah. fuck down. Well, you know, Jacksonville's always had that real shut down run defense. Right. Uh-huh. <laughs> they're, they're so well known for. I mean... Let's let's look back on this. Like who who were the teams that the Jacksonville Jaguars ended up beating this year? Teams they, they shouldn't have. The, I believe they're, they're the were, worst team they, in the fucking the, league. I think they it was won Pee Wee football. It was yeah, like the sure. Dolphins. I, I can't remember all, but I want to say I know for a fact it was obviously the Indianapolis Colts, but it was also the Buffalo Bills that shut them out in like yeah. a nine nothing game. Whoa! I think that's really cool. <sighs> If nothing else, this really goes to show what an incompetent ass that Urban Meyer <laughs> right? is. Yeah. Uh, but Trevor Trevor Lawrence hadn't thrown a touchdown in like eight fucking weeks. He ends up throwing a touchdown, uh, a couple if I remember right. I didn't watch the whole game, so I apologize. Yeah. But, he was but, number uh, one overall draft pick for a reason. Yeah, but I yeah. still don't think he's all that great. I don't either. Not yet, but, it's, but when he's it's, been put in the worst situation. But here's here's the other thing. Um, so you have the the Jacksonville Jaguars actually playing. That, that's what I was wanting to see. I was it's wanting to watch. Jaguar. Whatever. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> wanting to watch, or I was wanting to watch football games <laughs> where people actually gave a shit. Mm-hmm. Jaguars, <laughs> yes, <laughs> only when you okay. have gray poupon mustard <laughs> okay. with you. Uh, but I wanted to watch games that actually people were actually trying hard, and I think we got that with Scotty, Spades. They're all trying. Hard. I don't. I don't believe that. I think they. But they get paid to do but Scotty. They came, wouldn't get, take their paycheck if they didn't try mm-hmm. hard. Mm-hmm. If 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 the Jag Jaguars 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 yes. if the Jaguars lost the Jaguars <laughs> the Jaguars I'm gonna call them the Jaguars. I just call them the Cougars. <laughs> okay, <laughs> spotted Cougars. Same goddamn thing. Yeah, uh, but if they would have ended up losing and. Uh, they, they get first. They got first pick if they ended up losing that game. So they didn't really have much of an incentive I um, don't because have them winning anything in my pick. Yeah, and so the <laughs> Detroit Lions, oh, if that's they the would have lost, the, the game would have gotten the n- next year's first pick. Yeah, but because Dan Campbell's a fucking badass and just doesn't give a fuck, they ended up going out and uh, getting a W over the. Most likely Super Bowl contender, Green Bay Packers. Yeah, he's he. That was weird. he is all heart. I that love that he fucking 100%, guy. And that is the kind of shit that will endear you to a city and to a franchise. And even if your team sucks, will keep you in a fucking job. Absolutely. I and, am. And even if he gets fired, 
other places are going to want to pick him. They'll up. they'll jump all over mm-hmm. him. Hundred percent. I I am I I guess I'm I'm becoming a Lions fan. I'm a Lions fan. I'm a Detroit fucking Lions fan. Wow. I have a reason. That that's Barry Sanders, weird. right from Wichita. He, he's okay, a Lion. Okay, that's so, a cheap reason. But but that's a that's a decent reach. I, they they suck. So Jeremy can't say only what like were his numbers teams? this year. Barry Sanders? Yeah. I don't know. He was a really nice guy, though. I had a good conversation with him. He ran nice, for like 450 yards yeah. at least. Uh, something like that, probably. This, this year. Just this year alone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but there's, there's that. The last week. Uh, let's see. I got that one. Uh, last thing before we move on to the fun, or to more stuff, but uh, the Pittsburgh <laughs> Steelers ended up making... Smooth transition. Smart. smart. That was, that was here's my a, Here's the last thing before we move on to the next <laughs> here's thing. The, here's <laughs> the last thing before the next one. Uh, um, the Pittsburgh Steelers end up making the playoffs after the Colts lose to the Jaguars mm-hmm. and the Chargers the Jaguars. lose to the Las Vegas Raiders and a win over the Baltimore Ravens. Won. Oh, Chargers should have won. Oh, they should, and we're going to get into a little and bit again, more of that. Who didn't see this scenario playing out? <laughs> Everyone. Right. Fuck, I called it. <laughs> I believe I said a couple of weeks ago the Steelers were going to make the playoffs. I can't believe it. And we'll get a, we'll get more into that, I guess, here in a second. The 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 drama that was that game. We'll get into that in real shit or horse shit. But I'd rather talk about The Last Jedi, but okay, whatever. <laughs> God, that was the worst one. Um, I don't know that it was. I do. I think it was. I think it's uh, tied, three way tie for worst. Okay. Um, but we're going to have a little bit of celebration. We call this Black Monday in the NFL, and that is the mm. Monday after the season is over, all of the head coaches that get shit canned. Yep. And uh, first off, we got, da, 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 we'll get there. We'll da, get da, there. Da, da, da. We'll get there. First one, Vic Fangio for Denver. Yep. Mm-hmm. Gone. Uh, surprising one to me, Brian Flores That's for Miami. extremely surprising. I don't I know was if like, I like wait, that. what? I don't like, know that if was, I like that. That was kind of odd. I, I didn't really get that one. I didn't all. either. They dropped from their performance of last year. By nothing, uh, not yeah. I was. I think say, they're about man, the that, that same. Was, no, they they won they horrible nine or ten games last year. Did they year, really? Didn't they? Uh, I didn't think so, but you could be I right. Think so either. I that may be thinking shit. of seventy two. Maybe. Um, <laughs> yeah, they won all their games that they all, year. They won was all that, their uh, games. Was um, that Dan Flores? Was he coaching? Yeah, he's they good. need to bring Moreno Flo- back yeah. as the quarterback, yeah. and everything will be fine. I don't right. recall if that was Dan Flores or. Don Shula. Dan, Don. I can never keep him. Same thing. Dancing, dancing, Dan. Mm -hmm. They look Um, like. They look wonderful. Dancing, Don Shula. Right. You Um, can't tell them apart. Next one. Kind of a surprising one. It was it was being talked about a lot, but mm-hmm. Mike Zimmer yep. for the Minnesota Vikings. That one doesn't surprise me as much, but the fact that they took out Mike Zimmer and Rick yeah. Spielman yeah. for Minnesota, yeah. that's uh that's a one two punch. Bye bye, see you bye. So that one kind of the, the Rick Spielman one kind of threw me for a loop. But last but certainly not least, I know not only this guy sitting next to me being a Bears fan, but Derek Alders is uh a little bit happier today. Matt Nagy, Ryan Pace, Gandhi. I'm sorry, I was doing the I was, shit can. Was, so hopefully they I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Brown I'm gonna fucking take off fucking, all of my clothes yeah, and run should. out of here. No, screw them. Yeah, so you know they replaced him with worse. <laughs> <laughs> now here's the deal. They're talking about Tony Dungy being the the GM. Yeah, is is kind of the. the I thought they got right the guy now. from the Falcons. No, um, Tony Dungy, I think would be an amazing GM. And I and uh, he lisps. I think he would be okay, uh, but at least he was a coach. Well, he understands he'd, how this he'd goes. certainly be a defensive um, GM. Yeah, right. yeah, totally. Yeah, and then uh, and keep then all the fans I, out of the stadium. The the Jim Harbaugh thing, I think, is is fun. Like, I think that that's it might not happen, but I think that that's they just, signed him to a five year extension at Michigan, Michigan last Michigan, year. Yeah. They, it, it, so it'll be I tough. don't know that he he's, he's still, they're gonna have a hard time tough. getting him out of that contract. Yeah, money does everything. Yeah, <laughs> it does. Um, but I'm I'm. Pumped. I know. I know. Derek's not here this week. Uh, he's not feeling the best again. So uh, he will hopefully be back next week to where we can ask his uh, reaction. He's had a lot of complications with this transition surgery. Yeah, I know. It's uh, 
It's it's just getting weird. Yeah, you know. Yeah, so. they couldn't find his dick. Yeah. <laughs> it was so weird. <laughs> How are we going to turn it inside out if we can't find it? Oh god, that's still they one had of the my fish f- scales <laughs> ready to go. <laughs> this Look, guy's going to have how fat. I am. I have an Apple Watch that tells me to stand the fuck up <laughs> all the time. It's like you can do it. Just stand up. No more blood clots, buddy. <laughs> Even your timepiece is like, boy, you've been sitting a long time. Yeah. yeah. Um, it says almost there. Keep moving for one minute to make progress <laughs> toward your stand. Toward your stand goal. I have a stand goal wow. on my watch. Let's just go like Twice. this. Oh, fuck, I don't want to get up. I need more cake. <laughs> yeah, that's how bad I am. Yeah. Stand-up's going great, yeah, by the way. That's good. I sit on a chair. <laughs> the whole time. Oh, any time that I was ever on stage, it was just really... Just unimpressive parkour. I that's all it. I was doing up there, <laughs> just trying to not fall down the whole fucking time. That's good shit. That's oh, good that's shit. good shit. Uh, uh, but while we get to uh, uh, more NFL stuff, we're going yeah. to get into some playoff predictions. I so filled now out my bracket. You didn't need to fill out the I whole know, fucking you All 64 that. teams. So we now have the playoff picture. Uh, it turns out Green Bay and Tennessee are both number one I seeds. Want record of this. Okay, uh, I'll take a picture of it. Um, so now we have the opening week of the playoffs, the wild card week. That is stupid. Cincinnati, <laughs> Cincinnati in Las Vegas, uh, playing in Cincy. Uh, you've got New England at Buffalo, Pittsburgh at Kansas City, Philadelphia at Tampa Bay, San Francisco at Dallas, and Arizona at the Los Angeles Ramos. So, my question is, I don't want to go throughout the whole playoffs, but I want to do the wild card round. Uh, who do you have, Cincinnati or Las Vegas? I like Cincinnati. Okay. How about you, Jeremy? I think that, uh, I think that, that what's his face? Uh, Joe Burrow? No. Um, oh. Dr- or, uh, Boomer Sison? Der- Derek Carr. Derek Carr. I think, <laughs> so I think he's got. run out of mascara. <laughs> and I feel like I think some feel kid. like Joe Burrow has watched a shitload of Home Alone movies. And he's channeled some Macaulay Culkin, yeah. and he's just he's got a backpack full set, of marbles. Yeah, he's, he's setting up traps all over, <laughs> yeah. and he's gonna, he's going to be like, "Yeah, wet bandits," and throw touchdowns <laughs> right and left. I think so he's going to hang exactly cans on a rope. <laughs> yeah, I think he's going to throw 100%. bricks from a fucking second yeah. story building. I'm going to give you three <laughs> seconds. To get out of here for it. Oh yeah, yeah I you think. Know Good yellow belly, yeah. I think uh, I do. Filthy I, animals, I believe. Is mm-hmm. what I think Kevin McAllister and the Cincinnati Bengals also beat uh, Marv in I the so. Las Vegas. I think so. Uh, Raiders, yeah. How about you, or Jeremy? Yeah, I'm going Cincinnati. Cincinnati, okay. Yeah. Next game, Buffalo uh, in New England. New England plays at Buffalo. Who do you like here? Who I like is Buffalo. Uh huh. Who I picked was New England. Really? You're going to yeah, go on that no. upset? I, dude, I just, Josh uh, Allen's awesome. He is. But Josh Allen looks scared the entire time he plays. Have you ever seen his face? Yeah, he kind of does. He looks like the most worried person in the tri-state area. He's got a little, time little bit of anxiety, man. There's he big, does. huge guys running after but he's him. But they could sub him out at any time. I like him. Yeah. If, if I could pick, like if I could, wh- who I wanted to win, mm-hmm. it would 100% be Buffalo. Okay. But like I said, I think Mac Jones is is a beast. I think he's something he's a force to be reckoned with. And I think Bill Belichick has been in this spot so many times. He knows how to condition his team. He knows how to deflate the footballs. He knows exactly <laughs> what he needs to do right. to make sure that his team is on point and on task and ready to go. And Buffalo is not there. They're like, yeah, we just need to fucking crush more tables and we can do this. <laughs> so I have friends in Buffalo. I pray to God I'm wrong about New England because I hope my friends in Buffalo – they're awesome people. It's an awesome team. I love it. That's tough to admit. Yeah. How about you? Friends in Buffalo? How about wow. you, Jeremy? Who do you, who do you like in that game? I got New England, too. Do you really? I do. God damn. <clears throat> I guess I'm going to be the, the lone guy going for going for Buffalo. I'm going to pick Buffalo in this one. You're Buffalo following, really fell off heart, the fucking sir. cliff they, at the end of the they season. Did. They did. They did. I, I, they, I know. But I still I still like Buffalo in this particular case over New England. I think they finally, uh, they finally figure it out against the uh, Patriots this year. Uh, next one. Pittsburgh at Arrowhead against Kansas City. Do we, do I, mean, I think it would be hilarious if Pittsburgh somehow pulls this out. Yeah. And I think it's possible. I think so, That's too. That's what's goofy. I, I hate I think everything about this possible. game. Do you I, I do, too. I do. Yep. Really? I hate the fact that it's happening. 
Yeah. I think that the I fact agree. that there's seven fucking teams on each side in the playoffs is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. You've had an extra game in the season to sort the wheat from the chaff. If anything, you should have eliminated a fucking playoff team. Uh, <laughs> but, no, this is, you know, the number two seed is supposed to <laughs> get <laughs> the wheat from the chaff. I don't even know what that means. I really? just thought about making bread or something. <laughs> You get the yeast out of the bread. Yeah. No, it means separating the good from the bad. Okay, whatever. I, I went in 1934. No, no problem. Yeah. In a fucking <laughs> before they stormed Normandy, <laughs> they were like, "We we're gonna get the wheat out of the chaff. We're gonna drop the fucking landmines." Sorry, Jeremy. Proceed. Sorry, I don't want to. <laughs> God damn it! We knocked him off. Uh, <laughs> but who are you picking there, Jeremy? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. You want a beer? <laughs> no, he, he's got. He's on a diet. Oh, uh, I'm taking Kansas City. I don't even think it's close. There's one. Oh, I think it's close. I, I don't think it is. Uh, if you've watched the Pittsburgh Steelers as 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 closely as you can over the over this entire season, there's one thing that Kansas City is pretty decent at, and one thing that Pittsburgh sucks at, and that's scoring points. And you got to score points to win. And so I think that the Kansas okay. Okay. I think the Kansas City Chiefs uh, ended up beat them. Let me give you a scenario real quick. Yeah. Okay. Kansas City, mm-hmm. night before the game. Yeah. Jackson Mahomes goes out. He does the worst TikTok on planet, <laughs> which is not even possible. No, because he's already done it. It's he's possible. already done it. But he does a worse TikTok. Oh, night before, Ben Roethlisberger. He's at a bar. He rapes. And he's successful this time. He goes into the game feeling like a fucking stud because he just raped. And then Jackson (laughs) Mahomes is still on Patrick Mahomes' mind the entire time. And all of a sudden, the Pittsburgh Steelers win. What if that's the TikTok? (laughs) Ben (laughs) Roethlisberger raping Jackson Mahomes. That would be the greatest. I would sign up for TikTok if that was the TikTok. Yeah, it's fucking and Brittany bad. Murphy or whatever her name, Brittany Mah- or what? I, I don't know. know who she is. I hate her. Is too. on the we'll sidelines. Say it's Brittany rooting, Murphy rooting Brittany. him on. Yeah, Charlie. I Murphy's feel like sister. she died from drugs that or in. something. Yeah, I loved I her. I love Brittany. Um, here's here's the thing: is that this everything about this is set up for a fucking letdown for Kansas yep. City. Yep. Especially 100%. given the fact that two weeks ago Kansas City just fucking steamrolled them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now you've got a situation where Kansas City is going to go in overconfident. You've got a fucking wily old fucker who is trying to stave off his retirement. Yep. I mean, Roethlisberger is literally playing for the rest of his life right now. Yep. And that could be dangerous. And I noticed that on your list of uh, coaching cuts, Andy Reid wasn't on there. Right. That's a huge hindrance for Kansas City. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. They didn't, he didn't know how to step Every on year I, I keep agree. crossing my fingers going, cut that motherfucker <laughs> get rid of him whatever okay he sucks next he's one nice. yeah he's okay uh, yeah he's nice that's what makes him a shit coach remember <laughs> they're dicks his lorax mustache right uh next game arizona at the los angeles rams can i just say i love kyler murray i love him too i love kyler murray okay but that but i feel like the rams win okay is hopkins gonna be back no oh well i'm gonna change my pick <laughs> At least I don't think so. As far as I know, he was still in. I'm going to go Arizona now. You go Arizona. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, the Rams coming off of a loss against San Francisco, I think, will make them a little bit stronger. I think that Arizona's uh, offense has Arizona's offense has been kind of I don't know it, something wrong with it. It just hasn't it hasn't been as full flowing. This probably has to do with uh, Hopkins. But both of these teams are fucking staggering. I agree. Yeah. I I, yeah. I do, it, but I do want to pick the team that I think that has the best shot against the the Green Bay Packers if they ended up playing. And uh, in all seriousness, I think that is the Los Angeles Rams. So I'm gonna take the Rams. Oh, I didn't put my champion. You didn't. You suck. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna say the Rams have been for what their potential is and mm-hmm. the talent that they have on that team have been maybe the biggest disappointment I of agree. the year. They, the fact, really they have, should have actually, dominated yeah. that NFC. Yeah, they just didn't. They even tried to buy it. They yeah. tried to buy yeah. it. They got Von Miller now on I mm-hmm. mean they they they're stacked. Donald's on the on that side too yeah. and you yeah. would think that yeah. that they just would be sacking every fucking quarterback that they get. And they really didn't get hit with COVID that hard. No, they really didn't. They just they didn't play to their potential. Right. And they still have uh the record-breaking Cooper Cup uh, yeah, as well. Yeah. So, and and then OBJ is now starting to show up, and so you would think 
These guys should what, be dominant. What record did he break? Uh, most receptions, I believe, or touchdown receptions as well. Oh, okay. Uh, OBJ Kenobi. He, he broke uh, Megatron's record. Really? <laughs> I think so, or tied it. I can't remember. Who gives a shit? Anyway. Uh, well, I was just going to say, he didn't come anywhere close to that. No. Receive the receptions record, didn't no, he? No, I'm not. I don't know. I just I just know stud receiver. That's it. Yeah. Uh, next one, San Francisco 49ers at the Dallas Cowboys. I'll take this one first, guys. I don't care. I am... I'm thinking the San Francisco 49ers are going to beat the Dallas Cowboys at home. They're pretty hot right now. I'm taking they, San Francisco. They are hot right now, and the Dallas Cowboys just <laughs> find a way to fucking suck in the playoffs. That's it. <laughs> they suck in the playoffs. They do. They I swear do. to God, they, they just they find a way. Do. Here's here's what I did. I, so I much ran, talent. I ran the uh, logistics on this, and I think a meteor hits the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> The stadium. Oh man! Uh, and then Dallas wins. Okay, pray that you're right. I do. <laughs> I, I do. I think that by Dallas, default, because of my father-in-law, rest in peace, and my wife, who's an idiot, who loves the Dallas Cowboys. I just went. Oh, that that's why I don't yeah. like your wife. I know. That's yeah. why. I'm just kidding. She's, I love. I love your wife. She's a bit of a dick. Um. Ne- uh, last one. The Philadelphia Eagles at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I was Tampa Bay. I don't think he'd have any First choice. of all, I hate Philadelphia yeah. and their fans. Okay. Like, there's personal things going on there. The city and so their I, people. Yes. Okay. I root for them to lose as much as humanly possible. Okay, that's fair. And Gritty is a stupid fucking mascot, by the way, because I love NHL. Okay. Uh, Jeremy? Uh, Tampa Bay. Yeah, that's I, close. I just have always said beating Tom Brady in the playoffs is a whole different it's animal. It's not going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I agree. Tampa Bay all I the think way. I should change this to Tampa Bay. Yeah, really fucking yeah, should. I know. <sighs> he thinks Dallas is going to go far. He's no, wrong. I don't. He's I, wrong. I don't. I, I don't know what I was actually thinking. We're just picking that one round, right? Yep. Because, yep. I mean, don't get me wrong. This is all fucking hilarious. Yeah, no shit. Um, but now we get to move on to our uh, real shit or horse shit for the NFL. Oh, there we go. We never wanted, talked about. The I know High we're School. gonna we're gonna get. I know. I I, I decided to cut that. Out. Oh. Uh, we'll talk. We'll talk about. Well, that I grew up in Catholic High School. So okay. That's yeah, that's okay. Uh, real shit or horse shit? Uh, first yeah. one. <laughs> this was probably the most uh, controversial thing of the entire season as of Sunday night. Daniel Carlson, the kicker for the Las Vegas Raiders, hits the game-winning field goal to send the to the or send the Raiders to the playoffs and send the Chargers home. Real shit or horse shit, Daniel Carlson should have shanked the shit out of that winning field goal. Well, yeah, that's what we hope. Why? Why not? The whole plan, now here's, there's a lot of shit behind this. If the Raiders and the Chargers tied, both of them made it into the playoffs. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Because they did what they did, now we've got the fucking yes. Steelers. You're right. You're right. So yes. yep. at there was a lot of of controversy on this game because there was a timeout called by the chargers yeah with like 30 seconds left to go in the game they have told there are players that even told uh, austin eckler running back for the chargers players told him that the initial plan was after completing the first first down they were going to go up and knee the ball down and it was going to be a tie both teams go to the playoffs yeah that's great but because the head coach for the chargers decided to call that timeout which was the most fucking pointless timeout you could fucking call they ended up getting another first down into field goal range and that is what lost them the game and lost them to get the opportunity to play playoff football if wow. I could quote the late, great Herm Edwards, who I don't mean he's dead. He's just late. He was supposed to be here <laughs> an hour ago. <laughs> you play to win the game. Uh, and unless you have a gentleman's agreement. Yeah. Right, which, you know, we're talking the Raiders. There's no gentleman here. Yeah, they, that's true. They had a couple that's guys true. on the team this year that killed people. <laughs> Everyone so, um, is on probation. Yeah. Everyone it, is on parole or probation. Right. right. The last and game. and it's it's um I'm sure he called the timeout to force them to kick a 57-yard field goal thinking that he, that's what they were going to do. 
and you want to preserve as much time as you can so that you can go down the other way and try and get the win. No, if they That's were... what he was thinking. I realized that both teams would have gotten in. I don't think he wanted to get in that way. Um, He's been shown to be a fucking loose cannon all year long. He never punts. He, I mean, he, he, true. he's that fucking don't hold back. You go big or go home. True. And he, guy. he was even questioned about, about this. He was questioned about, are you going to uh, try to tie? Uh, and he said, fuck no. Like, I believe that was his uh, quote unquote. Was, right. Fuck no. And so uh, maybe coaches actually feel shame with ties. I'm sure they do, but I feel a lot better when I'm playing uh, yeah. football in. Uh, yeah, when you just January. denied your entire team their uh, playoff bonus. Right. Can I just say, I love how the Oakland Raiders. No, you can't. I love how the Oakland Raiders were looked at <laughs> as like the criminal team for mm -hmm. the longest time. Yeah. And then went to an actually scummier. <laughs> market like when they went to vegas it's vegas. like oh now they're oh, real you with, shitheads i meant when they went to los angeles <laughs> <laughs> right and then that. shank it <laughs> damn it nope all right tied all right. up at three i still got three points they already know what's going on anyway uh next one uh <laughs> real shit or horse shit okay the seattle seahawks should fire pete carroll absolutely not pete carroll is one of my favorite people. I like the guy. Because well, that's he, a reason to keep him. He, yeah, he, re he reminds me of a drunk uncle that I had. <laughs> he really does. Like, I feel like I could hang out with Pete Carroll. Like, he would be fun at Thanksgiving and Christmas, and he would have scotch at well, all times. Yeah. Uh, so I think they should keep him. Hey, hey, uh, I guys. Have no, I have I no realize, idea what. <laughs> I, I realize that we've we've underperformed the last three years and haven't mm. made the postseason. That's should Russell you think Wilson's we should get problem. rid of uh, Pete Carroll? <laughs> I don't know. Steve likes him. <laughs> I, I just think he's a sweet guy. Yeah, and his and his bubblegum chewing on the sideline oh, is just great. It, the thing is, is that would be the best thing for him. If that would get gets, him back into college, which is where he belongs. If where he, he gets fired, fucking what is won he gonna championship do? after championship. I don't know. Well, that's true. Yeah, I don't know. That that's really where his game is. Is in college. He mm -hmm. he won probably what two or three with USC, so, SC, and then they got and then he got him uh, penalized for it as well. So. Well, yeah, but that was Reggie Bush's fault. It was his fault. Uh, I say this is also horseshit. I I do like uh, I like Pete Carroll. I mm -hmm. think he's a lot better coach than he's uh, a lovable dude. Yeah, I, I I think he's a better coach. A uh, the thing that sticks out though is is that fucking play, the play that will never be forgotten, and that is run the fucking ball with Marshawn Lynch on the oh, ball line. Oh, of course, on the Super Bowl. Yeah, Fuck that was the, the dumbest shit ever. That was the dumb shit. Yeah. But but I still think he's in a hindsight, coach. now had that worked, he would have been brilliant. <laughs> no one ever thought that was going to work. Nah, nah, he's literally the only person so. on planet Earth that thought that was going to work. I agree with that statement. Yeah, but you didn't know that it was going to be a fucking interception. Nah, and nah. Wilson didn't have to throw it. He could have chucked it away. He could have, but he didn't. Yep. Uh, did you say real shit or horse shit, Jeremy? I didn't. Okay. What What are we talking? That Pete Carroll should be fired. Oh, yeah, real shit. Okay. Horseshit. Oh, man. It's real horseshit. Real horseshit. <laughs> uh, next one, real shit or horseshit. Tom Brady should be this year's MVP. Yeah, this is real fucking shit. Mm. Yeah. The NFC MVP? 100%, I think so. Especially yeah, after the last he didn't, game. He didn't well, there is no well. NFC or just MVP. The MB, NFL MP, MVP. He just broke a record this week, right? Yeah. It was... Uh, what record was that? It was he. He broke Drew Brees. He record. broke like two Most records. touchdowns by a geriatric. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that might be what it is. He stayed but. late in the game. No, that was Warren Moon actually. He, he stayed late in the game against Carolina. Stayed later than what yeah. was in t and what yeah. was planned, mm -hmm. just so he could help Gronkowski get his bonus money, which is half a million dollars. Like he fucking needs it. Here's the deal. It's it's not that he can do anything with it. He can't even get that fucking bank account because he's not a veteran. That's yeah, true. That's true. Here's the deal. If he's Tom, special. If, if Tom Brady's not making out with his kids, he'd like to make out with some <laughs> chicks that hang around with Gronkowski. That's totally true. So you got to hook with Robert your Kraft boy up. Too? This is yes. a bro situation. You got to hook your boy up so he hooks you up mm -hmm. in the end. That's all it was. That's got to be it. How, what do you think, Jeremy? Uh, that's bullshit. Bullshit? Horseshit? I mean, that doesn't make him the MVP. I mean, if anything, Tampa Bay really underperformed this year. Yeah, I agree. Compared to expectations. I mean, I, as much as I dislike the guy, I think Aaron Rodgers has got it sealed up. Uh, you're probably right. I, I just don't 
I don't think that. I think that uh, Tom Brady was the overall MVP, and now maybe because Antonio Brown is out of the locker room, maybe everybody's going to be happy and normal. It's true. That's what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> next one, real shit or horse shit. The Jacksonville Jaguars now get the f- number one pick That's for shit. the NFL draft. Hang on. Real shit or horse shit. The NFL should have a lottery system for the first draft pick, just like the NBA. No. No. What? No. No. Why no. not? Because you have to lose and be a shithead to get the first round draft pick. It's always been that way, and it still should be that I, way. Because they don't play yeah. 82 fucking games. Sure. Yeah, exactly. But they played it 12. It is 82, isn't it? I don't know. Yes. Something like that. Know, something Who like gives that. a shit? We don't they, talk they about They play basketball. 17 now, Scotty. Oh, okay. They don't play 12. True. Yeah, 17, sorry. Uh, I think this is real shit. I don't think... I hate the fact that we are we're we have to have the discussion about, uh, you know, Dan Campbell and the Jacksonville Jaguars. If they would have just purposefully lost the game, they would get the number one overall pick for the draft. Mm-hmm. No, I would much rather have the bottom... Four instead of five, if we want to do it that way. The bottom four teams in the NFL, uh, regardless of what their record is, get a lottery pick, and they get to fucking, I don't care, roll a dice. I don't give a shit. But I don't like the fact that if you are the worst team, you can lose on purpose, and then you you get the first pick. I don't like that. So that's me. I think Lil Sweet should be able to say who you get. Okay. Lil Uh, Sweet. You know who that is? That's a little sweet. Yeah, yeah. you know who plays you know him? Who plays, you know who plays him, right? No. That's uh, Justin from the first season of American Idol. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I like his miniature jet ski. I don't I mean he was I, I like it just yeah. looks, it's a little sweet. Like I don't know. Yes. It yeah. looks like a prince wannabe. Here's the deal. I, I think that you're Fucked up because I think that <laughs> if you lose enough games, you should get the first round pick. Yeah. Maybe it's because that's near and dear to my heart because I'm a Bears fan and have been for years. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Or what the deal is, but I just feel like that's a thing. And <laughs> under most seasons, it's not. It doesn't come down to a technicality like this. There's usually right, a very clear right, yeah, worst yeah. team. It's like Jesus, these people need help. Let's just get something. <laughs> Okay, you know? fair enough. And then you have the Bears that get the first round draft pick, and they're like, Patrick Mahomes, <laughs> fuck that guy. <laughs> Let's go with Mitch Trubisky. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to worry about that uh, that idiots. shit anymore. Yeah. Uh, last one, real shit or horror shit. All of the new NFL records should have an asterisk by them because of the seventeenth game. You have to. You have to. Yes. Because all of the records in in. NFL time, you have to. Mm-hmm. You have to. It's no. just there's But no then again, what about guys who played 16 games breaking the records of guys who broke 14? There should 14? be a notation there as well. You have to. Yeah, because but are they going to use an asterisk, an ampersand? What do they use? You're changing <laughs> the comma, dollar, dollar, dollar sign, dollar right. sign. Pound yeah. sign. The pound, pound sign. sign. You want a hashtag. Everybody, it. hashtag. everybody calls it a hashtag. It's the pound sign. <laughs> it was the number <laughs> sign before that. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. They're all part of Skrillex. Right. No, no. I feel like anytime you change the playing field, you have to fucking I, I, I totally agree. Somewhere. And I, I also too. think that they need to put an asterisk by uh, Strahan's sack record because he was given that. <laughs> oh, really? Well, and yeah. now he's... Brett Favre told him, I'm supposed to go left here, but I'm going to go right. Come after me. <laughs> Are you saying... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. I've heard about well, that. here's the deal. Now he's sacking Kelly Ripa. Yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah, he sure is. Oh, she sounds like a cunt. Getting her in the sack. No. Oh. They they split up because she thought he was a dick. Oh. Well. And I like him because he has a big gap in his teeth, and so do I. Oh, man. I feel like we're related, we're related that That's way. That's okay. So. Uh, he's uh, he's definitely not redheaded, though. I, I think. Uh, I think from the waist down. <laughs> I honestly think that he, he dropped her because she got too fat. Maybe. Here's the deal. Kelly Ripa lost Regis and went ballistic. That's what happened. Probably. She she was the Antonio Brown of of morning TV. Yeah. You know, there was a CTE injury after after Regis. Died. Nice. If I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times. Kelly Ripa is the Antonio Brown. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've, that's that that has literally been a running trope on this show. <laughs> God damn. It's like we're we're on the same fucking wavelength it's here, true. Steve. It's Jesus. True. Wow. Uh, I'm well, gonna then s- you have Kathy Lee and Hoda that just get drunk all morning on wine. Yeah, that's yeah. True. I'm going to say this is definitely. Well, there's real, a lot real of good shit. chemistry on that show. God, yeah. this is real God. shit. Does anybody else think this is not 
real shit? No, it has to. Okay. It, yeah, you have right, to. I'm just course. making sure. It's not even a question. Okay. It has to, Scotty. It has to. God damn it. The have to. Dude, Did I tell you to? guys I'm on The View in two weeks? No. Yeah, I'm uh, going to bang Joy Bay. <laughs> I'm so TV. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you, use could lube. You, could you have <laughs> that she would rub my nuts? <laughs> oh, God. I wouldn't want I can't believe that that show actually has two of the three worst female comedians I can't of believe all time. that show has viewers. <laughs> That's what I can't believe. <laughs> well, they get one just for calling it The View. That's right. true. Yeah. yeah. That by itself just counts as a view. Yeah. Uh, but enjoy the first week of uh, playoff football. It just means that it's close to the end of football, which I don't like. That sucks. It hey, sucks. that's even closer to that Pro Bowl, guys. Yeah, that's true. The most worthless piece of shit game on the face of the <laughs> fucking gonna, planet. Are you going to do that on the PlayStation again? I hope so. Yeah. Uh, I cannot watch it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, now we get to move on to the fun oh, this yes. is the fun stuff oh, that we get to get yes. to yes and now um, fact, just edit all that last shit yeah, out probably we probably all could get away with all of it but uh before um well before we move on to the questions and overrated underrated we now have a new segment uh this is probably i mean actually this has become uh your listeners uh favorite part of the show uh this is called bad advice with jeremy uh, if you guys have any situations that you would like Jeremy for bad advice, you can send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram and uh, Facebook and as well TikTok. You can send us a message and I'll take a look at them, see if they're any good. Uh, we've got another one this week. Uh, this is from, uh, let's see, at Mr. Nobody 2004. Nice. And uh, he writes, uh, Jeremy, I need some. Yes. Uh, okay, fine. Uh -huh. Jeremy. I need some advice. My five-year wedding anniversary is coming up. What can I get my wife that shows how much I care about her without putting too much thought into it? This this is so fucking easy. I mean, it's like you shaped this for me. This is a slam dunk, nobody. Um, that was the name, right? Yeah, Mr. Nobody? Yeah, nobody, uh-huh. Yeah. Do I have to call him Mr.? Sure. I mean, you know. I feel like I shouldn't have to talk up to this guy. <laughs> but whatever there, Mr. Nobody. Um, first off, the fact that you've made it five years is a mystery to any of us. <laughs> but that shows that you're really in this for the long haul. Nice. And so to show her that you're really committed to the long run and a good way to save money because I assume you're broke is at this age, it's a good time to buy a burial plot. <laughs> bam bam get her a good picture of what it looks like and here is where she's gonna lay her head for eternity now i'm not done oh this that's just the beginning that's just a warm-up gift nice. now while that is much cheaper than waiting until she dies probably by your hand <laughs> you know there's there's really a, a you know that's still gonna run you a lot of money and that's probably going to wipe you out. Now, uh -huh. don't worry here because nothing says love. And it, I believe it is the traditional gift for the fifth anniversary. Cat. <laughs> Not just a cat. Cats. <laughs> How many cats? A disturbing amount of cats. <laughs> if you go onto Craigslist or look in the paper and the classifieds, people are always giving away free cats. <laughs> And I would suggest getting her a cat for every day that you've been together. Boom. And that's my bad advice. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't think that's bad advice. I that's pretty mm. solid. Plot and cats. Yeah, yeah, that's yes. Solid. You know, I, that I, really shows you're prepping for the future. I've seen <clears throat> the videos of people that die unexpectedly in their homes and then the cats start eating in their face. No. Oh. It takes care of itself. That's right. It's great. It cleans it up. Yeah. 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 For sure. yeah. Yeah. They take care of that rat problem. Mm -hmm. That's exactly right. Yeah. Uh, but thank you for your uh, your bad advice question, Mr. Nobody2004. We sincerely do appreciate that. Uh, but now we get to move on to overrated or underrated. Uh, same thing. You guys have any suggestions, send them to at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram or TikTok as well. Uh, we're going to move first one is overrated or underrated dad jokes. All right. Overrated. Really? I fucking hate dad jokes. Yeah, really? I really do. 
I agree 100%. You know why I hate him? Because you like him, Scotty. <laughs> yep. Da- Scotty is the most dad joke person. He is. I do. I, I, I guess I yeah, love you dad know jokes. he loves <laughs> Yeah, that's great. I got I, I actually get a, get a genius out there like a Doug Stanhope just crafting just beautiful pieces of humor. No, no. Ground beef, Scotty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it still gets me oh, every geez, time. Fuck. I heard a good one, though. I, I can't I, imagine that's I true. Promise, I it. promise. I heard a good dad joke today. Okay. You, re- uh, uh, you ready? Yep. Okay. What's the difference between Paul Walker and Betty White? I don't know. I, I don't. Paul Walker. I, I shouldn't say I don't know. I yeah. don't care. Paul Walker hit 100 before he died. <laughs> love it all right now okay, i'm just gonna really say this right that's now it's not a dad joke it's a dead joke <laughs> you need to knock followed it. it up with another dad joke too. <laughs> there you go this is why dad jokes are fucking horrible <laughs> they shouldn't be accepted anywhere i love it i'm i'm not kidding i'm about to come over and have a talk with you <laughs> i i can't believe it. steve i apologize <laughs> for this i normally yeah, don't I like to have be. to discipline scotty on air in front of guests but yeah, i after. I haven't had to, to move. I can move. I haven't way. had to do this for a long time, but I'm gonna. Bring, that's one. <laughs> <laughs> I can move so you can hit him. Just give me the nod. He's been I'll warned. Get the fuck out that's of the way. One. He's be been him. warned. Uh, I do. I think they're underrated. I think there are some. There are definitely some that are shit, but there are some. All that are of them. Act, there are some all that are kind of clever. The, there's some dumb ones, but there are some that are. I'd be honest with you. In all seriousness, I don't really like pre-planned jokes does that make sense like the the quick ones like that like the one even i just did i just really liked that one i thought that one was fucking hilarious but um i don't the only way that they're ever good is if they turn real fucking dark dark exactly which is exactly what that joke did um but yeah your mother's a whore like yeah no yeah it fits this show we got so much shit for for making fun of paul walker dying i figured it'd be uh perfect you know we weren't making fun. We were serious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, fuck fine. Paul Walker. Uh, <laughs> fine. All right, next one. Overrated or underrated? The spelling bee on ESPN. It just depends on how drunk you got the day before. <laughs> you know, I mean, if you just need something to watch live on TV on a Sunday, it's pretty legit. It's there's always an Indian kid that's yeah, like every time. You know, every single time. Yep. They're like. Uh, Please spell. <laughs> Neiman is it in a supercalifragilisticexpialidocious? <laughs> and he's like, oh, please use that in a sentence. <laughs> and, he's, and she's like, the woman went to your dad's house and gave him a supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. <laughs> what? what if they just um, recited S- the song? You <laughs> be, yeah. It's uh, I like it. I think it's underrated. I think we should country have more. Of, of it. Country of origin, please. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Could you use it in a sentence? <laughs> yeah. Supercalifragilistic expialidocious. Yeah. <laughs> if you say it loud enough, it's bound to be atrocious. Yes, <laughs> yes. That's good shit. Um, I think it's underrated. It's something you can bet on. Uh, you can. You can, you can yeah. actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Remember that kid that fainted? Yeah, I do remember that. Yeah. Fahim is winning every fucking time. <laughs> I think that should have automatically disqualified him. The fact that he was able to get back up and finish. The oh, record. what a fucking pussy. Yeah, like, he's done. Once he faints, he's yeah, out. Yeah, that's, that's it. You said. hit the floor, you're you're done. Yeah. Disqualified. You're done, done, son. That's Floor's it. lava. That's far, it. So he has I'm to concerned. kind of hold himself up for 10 seconds, <laughs> just like a boxer. It'll be uh, fine. Yeah. How about uh, How about you there, Jeremy? Every year I watch it for about 10 minutes, ironically, and then I'm just pissed off. Because <laughs> he wasn't the, on. You <laughs> fuckers got to be on ESPN <laughs> for Is it this. On the Ocho? I think it's on the Ocho. No, it's on ESPN. Oh. I do like knowing that every kid who misses and gets knocked out is going to go home and just get the shit kicked out of them <laughs> yeah. by their parents. Yeah. Because every kid that's on that shit can either be a doctor or an engineer. 100%. Those are the two. It is. Like, yeah. You so can be true. anything you want to be as long as you're a doctor or an engineer. But their yeah. parents have spent hours at home just literally cracking a whip at them. Yep. Yep. Like a 100%. fucking lion tamer. They've, hundred fucking they've got a percent. whip and a starter's pistol. And <laughs> yep. this, is, <laughs> this is funny, but this is 
good shit. One hundred percent fucking true. I yeah. think that's why they went to having multiple winners after so long. Oh yeah, because they knew. Yeah, yeah, those kids weren't going home to a good situation. Right. Okay. Next one. Overrated or underrated? Doing the deed in places other than a bed. We're talking me, about fucking. Me, we're talking you, about fucking. You want me to take point on this one? Sure. Yeah. I have a pool. <laughs> okay. Uh, during the summer, that is an active place. <laughs> Here's the deal. I married a woman that has an ex-husband that's her baby daddy. <laughs> so when we send the kids on rare occasions to the baby daddy house, uh, dirty things happen in that pool. <laughs> the neighbors enjoy it. It's a fun time. Nature looks at it like, oh, God, uh, she's fucking that fat guy. Uh, but it's it works. I mean, I'm in my environment. I'm a whale. That's so it's, fine. it's good. That's it's fine. a heated pool. Yeah. It's fine. I'm yeah, sure the neighbors like, are really nice about shamu, it. Shamu. Yeah. Basically. So you're saying underrated. Yeah. I overrate it. Uh, or underrated. Yeah. I don't know. I don't. I like it. You what enjoy, does that one mean? That's, that's, that's uh, underrated. Okay. We're good then. Um, I, uh, I'm going to go overrated. It's not that I'm not adventurous. Ah, you're still a virgin, though. No. So that's weird. No. So. Uh, no, my wife hates me. Um, so. <laughs> All right. Uh, so when but you're at the Blue Oyster I, Bar. I would much rather just, you know, do the dirty in, uh, you know, normal places. You know, your house. Your, your your <laughs> My house? <laughs> no. No, no. The house. I, my house. You know, uh-huh. I, I don't want to do it. The house you know, that Ruth built. I don't, yeah, I don't want to do it in like the uh, you know the stairwell of a of a. Oh, know. that's how I got my first wife pregnant. <laughs> it is. That is yeah. exactly how I remember stairway fucking. Yeah, yeah. I was. It was. That was, yeah, that was a was Lionel going, Richie song. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Stairway <laughs> facing down the stairs. <laughs> Stair- if she would have been facing up the stairs, gravity would have taken care of everything. It was yeah. sure. fine. That was actually a different song. It was stairway to fucking. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. It, I'm going to assume then that that's the stairs you threw her down to get rid of that. Tried to. <laughs> didn't work. That's a fucking myth. Oh, Jesus. Okay, how about you there, Jeremy? Uh, I'm going to go with it is overrated, and I'll, I'll tell you exactly why. <sighs> you guys don't have pools. <laughs> no. For good reason. <laughs> <laughs> um, here's the deal. It is a guarantee that when I'm done, I'm going to collapse. <laughs> nice. And... If we're someplace that's not made for collapsing, you know, like a bed, <laughs> shit's going to get do broke. It in the kitchen because you can get like a Gatorade. Yeah, halfway that's through. The, the, the thirst is not the problem; it's the jelly legs. <laughs> I'm like a fucking baby giraffe, a newborn okay, giraffe. So, when I get done, son of a. <laughs> yeah. Like really. It. Ah oh, man, and I'm in just as much and pain like I weird. fell from a high. Is it only takes two vagina. minutes and thirteen seconds <laughs> for his legs to go baby giraffe mode? That's awesome. I like it. Oh, he has an Asian that's, wife though, so that, uh-huh. that's yeah. like you got to kind of factor that in. Yeah, that is true. Oh okay. God, that's so. They know funny. more. They, they know sure way do. More. They do. Yeah, they know more. They, they know how to make the nana Sorry, cry. white ladies. The Asian ladies just seem to know more. Right. That, that is maybe my favorite slang for it when, uh, oh, God damn it. I can't think of the, the comedian now. But talked about going to an Asian place because his back was legitimately hurting and they Nick were the Swartzen. only place. No. Oh. Uh, when she asked, uh, you want me to make the nana cry? <laughs> 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 That's my favorite well, term for Swanson it. Nick has an amazing bit about an Asian massage. <laughs> so do I. Uh, great. Mine's better than Nick Schwartz. Yeah, yeah, yours is better than anybody's, dear me. Anyway. Um, you mean my Asian massage parlor? Yeah, that one. one that my wife. Yeah, was saying. <laughs> yeah exactly. She gives the best happy That's endings. where I met her. Right. Uh, next one. This is a uh, fan's question. Uh, this is at, th- uh, I think it's Thub. Thub. Yeah, Thub765. He wants to know, overrated or underrated, singing in the shower. Uh, that's the most overrated shit on planet Earth. Mm. Really? Especially if you have to listen to your wife. Wa- oh, you're a karaoke. <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's very overrated. I, I, I argue in the shower with uh, with people that aren't there. Yourself, yeah. Yeah. You prepare. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, I, I was, was going to go overrated mm-hmm. because i think yeah i'm never 
gonna sing really in the shower. That's not something I do. Right. But you, you don't get, seem like you a get, singer. No, in the shower. I I, uh, yeah. I am a singer, but not in the shower. Yeah. Um, you are a musician first. I am a musician that first. That. Yeah. That's right. Musician, bull rider, cage fighter. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> um, I've seen none of those. <laughs> anyway, keep going. Anyway, so, but now I'm going to change to underrated because you actually have a situation to where your wife sings in the shower. Not really. Oh my so god! She yells at <laughs> She's me. Crazy. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it depends on if if I try and get in, she screams for sure, if, like one hundred and ten percent. She's like rape, rape. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, what the? Fu-? Anyway, this uh, ain't the pool, no, asshole. Yeah, she does not sing in the shower. Yeah. She lectures me. Okay, from the all right. It's well, not a good situation. I was gonna say that I would get that shit on film if she was singing in the shower, but no, no. I tried now. to use. I, her that's purple. illegal. No. <laughs> I tried to use her purple shampoo one time, <laughs> and I was informed, dude. I was like, "Are you fucking kidding me? That is fifty dollars a month." Like, dude, what that's, were you that's using how, it for? I, I just Your thought balls? I was. I only have soap for the sh- for the head down, and I yeah. literally was like, "Oh, just use shampoo." And she's and like, "Pull that. the bottle out of there." Yeah. No, it's, well, I mean, it was shaped correctly. But, sure, I'll but, say uh, overrated. Yeah. Oh, shampoo bottles are. Yep. Oh, I you said, changed it. To I, I, I'm going back to overrated. Thank now. God. Yeah. There okay. you go. Jeremy, how about you? Underrated. Really? I sing like a motherfucker in the shower just to freak my wife out. Here's the deal. Because I sing a lot of things that I shouldn't sing. <laughs> you a lot of share songs. Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. And then I'll do like uh, Donkey Butt by 12 Gauge. <laughs> If you take the H out of this, it's tub seven six five. Oh, so maybe they're shit. looking for some, some uh, singing in the tub situation. I can just maybe. imagine. For those of you guys that don't know, when Jeremy goes into work, it's at like four o'clock in the fucking morning. Yeah, he's <laughs> five, yeah. Five. So so that means that not only are you singing in the shower before you go to work, but you're singing in the shower oh, loud as fuck. No, I'm not a morning shower. Okay, okay. I, I shower say. the night before. Uh a morning, a, a shower at that time of morning would just piss me off. <laughs> really? That would be the worst way I could imagine to start my day. I wake up in the car on my way to work. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh, my I'm God. I'm the same way. I shower the night before. Yes. Oh, I wake man. up in the morning. I do the vinegar. No, we're good. <laughs> that whole situation. Nobody That's, smelling my yeah. balls at work. I, I get... Well, you don't work at the right place. <laughs> no kidding. I get dirty at work, so what's the that, fucking point? Okay, that's that makes true. that makes yeah, more sense. True. Okay, that makes all the sense. Uh, all right. I don't know about all the sense in the world, but it, it makes does. it, it does. makes enough sense. Nah, I've worked construction for years. Sure. I get it. All right, last one: overrated or underrated? The snooze button. Can I take the point on this one? <laughs> you go for it. My wife. Uh, she. <laughs> she uh, my wife. My wife. My wife. <laughs> Sets five alarms in the morning to take our kids to school. Uh-huh. By the wow, way, they go to she, his, their schedule's really she, staggered. She never takes our kids to school. She sets five fucking alarms that start at six thirty in the morning. Our kids don't leave for school until seven forty-five. Mm-hmm. It's to wake me up, but she's acting like she's like, "Oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't know." <laughs> it's uh, mo- yeah. I, I, it's the most overrated thing on planet Earth because I, f- I set one alarm. I set one alarm. If I'm getting up at that time, I just get up. Mm-hmm. I don't snooze anything. Okay. Otherwise, uh, it makes me tired. Right. I'm, I'm also saying this is overrated. I think uh, I think there are two different things, though. Like, you, I'm the person that I make. I do. I make three different alarms for me to wake up in the morning. Sometimes Check that doesn't out. fucking work. I'm not a morning person, man. Mm. Uh, I'm a night owl. But the snooze button is a Bitch, because if you think that you turn the the alarm off to just mm-hmm. to stop making that right, sound, but right. you don't, you accidentally push the fucking yep. snooze button. Yep. That's a Cause bitch. Because now all of our alarms are on our phone. It's not yeah yep. anymore where you hit the big button. Yep. It's like, did I just hit stop or did or I hit hits, five more minutes? That's exactly yeah, right. So I'm going overrated as hell, Jeremy. Um. Yeah, I'm going to go with overrated, too. I tend to get up as soon as the alarm goes off. I have to. If I hit the snooze... Got it? Got it. Sorry. Nine minutes of sleep is enough to just, once again, piss me off. Yeah. Um, if you want me to start off my day in an even worse mood than what I what I normally do, that's a good way to do it. Um, my wife, however, she, will, she sets an alarm for me on her phone. Mm-hmm. And hers is uh, 
her alarm tone is wake me up before you go go <laughs> by wham <laughs> <laughs> which i'm can i make a comment about that song sure if i'm asleep <laughs> and you want to go dancing boom and you fucking wake me up <laughs> To see if I want to go, I'm going to kick your fucking ass. I, like it. I don't care good. who you are. That's pretty good. He's pissed off that she didn't wake him up. What, what time do you go to bed? <laughs> Before people go out to go dancing. Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ, George. I'm glad you're dead. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that was overrated and underrated for this week's episode. Again, if you I'm going to any... say it here and now, Andrew Ridgely made that band. Okay. Fine. That's the other thing. Uh, but now, now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Uh, again, if you have any suggestions that, uh, that you'd like to send us, you are more than welcome to do so at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram, TikTok, or Facebook. Uh, we'll look over them. If uh, we like them, we'll uh, give you a shout out on the show and uh, do your question, answer your question, you know, that kind of thing. Like uh, first question. Are we going to hold? Nope, here? not yet. Oh. We got one more and then we're good. Yeah. I We're really running long. Yeah, we, we are. Uh, kind of, sort of. Not, okay. not, eh, not, I just need not too bad. Pee. Well, you're all, we're almost there. Okay. Uh, first question. Uh, the worst breakup line, it's not you, it's blank. Your breath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Really? Okay. Well, for me, it's not you; it's your vinegar balls. <laughs> oh, you're going that? You're swinging that I way, are you? I just have to. Uh, I, I was. Uh, Do your wife get vinegar balls? <laughs> yeah, she right before the operation. Nice, it was bad. Uh, I went the with the Derek operation. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. They switched. I went with. Uh, it's not you. It's your. Uh, cunty attitude. Oh, uh, that's, that's sweet. That's that's going to be mine. Yeah. That's being honest. Me, totally, one hundred percent. Being very honest. Right. You should put that on her Valentine's Day card. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, it, yeah. The worst it's, breakup uh, line. It's not yeah. you. It's your cunty attitude. Mm-hmm. Uh, next one. Rejected names for bras. Uh, I liked the over the shoulder boulder holder. <laughs> okay. Uh, that was a it. nice one. I like that one. Uh, I like. I got a couple actually. Uh, I uh, meat sacks. Nice. Yeah, I like, I like that. that one. Yep. Uh, but in all seriousness, uh, liars. I my wife. They, cat, my they wife are liars. Me. Yeah, they my are wife, fucking liars. That's what wife, you call them. You don't wife, call them bras. They're liars. My wife one hundred percent catfished me. With her tits. See? When we first got together. You saw them and you were like, no, nope, my dick's going to nope. be between she, them. <laughs> she literally, well, I thought so. Yeah. Because she bought a thing called a double wow bra. And the first wow is like fucking like, wow, that's amazing. <laughs> and then the second wow, when you take it off, is like, wow, really? <laughs> it's like, sir, I'm going to need you to leave my bedroom. Right. Uh, so yeah, the dick never did, got in because you can't. Did you like, go and titty fuck the bra? A, a fucking <laughs> safety pin here and a safety pin here and try and squeeze them back together. <laughs> so it's uh, not a good situation. It's very disappointing. Yeah. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, the 2017 Ford Focus. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah. I feel nice. like somebody proposed that and they were like, uh, "That's been taken." I love it. <laughs> That's great. All right. Next question. What? <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Uh, things people from Kansas do during a tornado that you should never do. Go to your driveway immediately. This is fucking true. Mm-hmm. It's yes. the truest thing on planet Earth. Yeah, Everyone's 100%. like, you guys hear the tornado sirens? I just went outside in the front yard. I didn't see the damn thing. It's fine. <laughs> tornado what? sirens literally should just be a voice going, hey, everybody, come look come at the tornado. <laughs> This is this is no bullshit. It ain't gonna touch the ground. No. Yep. Have you ever met somebody from that's never been to the Midwest, like from California yes, to New York? Yes, I, I truly have. Yes, they, they, I, they freaked the, the fuck, fuck out, out about tornadoes. Well, I met, I believe, in that same MGM Grand Casino that I was kicked out of earlier that <laughs> night. I met a woman at a blackjack table from Chicago who was under the impression that they would just zoom out of the sky and get you at any time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, That's great. Yeah, no. Uh, you get plenty of a fucking heads up too. You get mm-hmm. you get a whole you get week. Hours. I hours know. You up. get a week yeah. in advance if it's going to be a bad it's one. True. You can see it it's coming. Yep. Like more Oklahoma mm-hmm. a week before. Yeah, they, they were like, 
That's you guys true. better take some fucking cover because this could be in your direction. So, yes. They and have, everybody in more pretty, Oklahoma was like, nah. nah. <laughs> <laughs> that one there was, you could see the funnel cloud on that one. Yeah, you mm-hmm. sure could. Uh, but, yeah, you're exactly A right. A week out. That was the high, the fastest recorded wind in recorded human history. Was 319 more. miles per hour. That's moving. Uh, yeah. The the sit, number two was uh, 295, so it beat it by quite a bit. Yeah. Wow. By the way, that's the average temperature or wind speed on Jupiter. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. That's great. For, <laughs> so don't go there. No, don't go there. No, uh-uh. don't. Well, unless you're from more Oklahoma. If yeah. You're, yeah, then you're just used to it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Shit, that's just a Thursday for us. Here's here's a fun fact. There is a... There, obviously, you've seen Storm Chasers. You know these people actually exist. I live next door to one. Yeah, so... These guys have these fucking tanks that they've converted mm-hmm. into tornado tor- tornado yeah. interceptor vehicles. Which that is means- stupid. Just get a Dodge truck. Tornadoes can't touch <laughs> That's it. That's exactly right. Red. True. It has yeah. to be red, though. Sure. We've all yeah. seen Twister. Um, but the, here's the thing. There is a guy that converted a, a huge dually truck into a, ta- a tank, and I, mm-hmm. I don't believe that it's one's the... Tank. I don't think it's the TIV. I think it's... No, it is the TIV. That he has an IMAX camera mounted on the top yeah, of the fucking that dude truck from, from fucking California. He had no he, idea what he was doing. Yeah, no bullshit. This is no yep. bullshit. These guys are expert meteorologists yep. that legitimately go out to find these mm-hmm. tornadoes and drive into them. This guy has yet to do it, and he's been trying for years to do this. That's it how does take some pretty good timing. Yeah, it, it's it's crazy how people they're, are so terrified. They're generally not that big, and no. they don't generally cross roads. It's true. But I here's the thing: is I have been in. They do cross roads, you <laughs> jackass. Well, yes. <laughs> like, why the tornado cross the road? Right, but to kill I mean, the people on the other side <laughs> to kill like, people at trailer park. As you're <laughs> intersecting that section of the road, yeah. they don't like come down on the road and stay there for you to drive onto them when they get across. Yeah, they don't they get follow across highways. No, no, no. or byways. It's yeah. much easier. But uh, but always good news or a fun fact though. If you are looking at a tornado and it looks like it's not moving, that it's means coming it's coming right at, at you. That's coming at you. Is yeah, what's yes, hundred percent. I have so. I've been in one that really did some real damage, damage. and it's fucking terrifying. Oh yeah. It, you cannot imagine the actual power I've that they're been bringing. Two of them. I've been yeah, in two or three. Good. Yeah, I mean, I've, good. I've I've been in several of them, but like close to where I saw it actually tearing shit up. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, and no. just the I saw it take out a fucking old house. It was a luckily an abandoned house, but just the ease that it ripped that fucking thing apart. Oh, yeah, there was incredible. like 50 crackheads inside that house. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, they, thank God, it just got the crack. They do target... Uh, not where I'm from, they're meth heads. They, meth, whatever. They do target a particular group of people, that is they true. Do. They are they kind do. of prejudiced about that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Anyways, uh, that's fun facts about tornadoes for mm-hmm. this episode. Mm-hmm. Uh, next question. Join us next week on Tornado Talk. Yep. Uh, <laughs> uh, next Talk question. NATO. Talk NATO. There it is. Next question. What? Something a race car driver would say if the car didn't run real good. Dale should have never hit that wall. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, fuck. Well, I mean, look, everyone talks about critical race theory. <laughs> and Shit. I feel like in Alabama, that's critical race theory. <laughs> is how the fuck did Dale hit that actual wall? <laughs> oh, when God. It- Fuck me. <laughs> oh, shit. We should uh, teach this in schools. <laughs> critical race theory. That's fucking funny. And why is Dale Jr. not doing better? <laughs> shit. Because <laughs> daddy was too busy winning. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, shit. All I've got is, well, Billy cut me the fuck off, and that was making me not go as fast as possible. I couldn't drag behind him and uh, shake and bake, motherfucker. That's fine. That's all right. I'll take I take it. I, I, I had nothing for that. I still oh, don't. Like yeah, I, I still don't. She was running real good till we hit on the backstretch, and then she just blew her load and then went limp. <laughs> no, 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 no. What's the one with Tom Cruise and, and, uh, and yeah. fucking where he's like, Tom he Cruise. put special tires on this thing. <laughs> so oh, I yeah. can pass on the top. Yeah, he's uh, like, Days I of Thunder. Special tire. Yeah, Days of Thunder. That, that really shows Robert Duvall's range in acting. Does, man. <laughs> he, he was went, in The Godfather. LA, LA gang cop to, oh, yeah, Jesus. everything. He, he was literally in the first two godfather movie maybe even the third yeah he's tom the conciliary 
Oh, it's sickly anyway. airy. Oh, okay. All right. But last we got one more. Last question, pee. and we're and then we're going on to the draft. Yes. All right. Last question. I'm pee in that trash <laughs> Don't can right you there do with it. All the holes in it. Don't you do it. Uh, last question. If you were a fortune cookie writer, what fortune would you write just to mess with people? Today's the day. <laughs> and then on the back, when they looked for their lucky numbers, I would just spell out death. <laughs> It'd be like, fuck this crab rangoon. <laughs> no, if you're talking to numbers, you've got to put like six, 66, yeah. 666. <laughs> Jeremy? <laughs> yeah. Your favorite number? Uh, pound sign. <laughs> pound sign. Okay, fine. That's that was great. worth a shot. I love it. Uh, I, I've got a couple. Turn around. Uh-huh. Oh. I think that'd be great. Uh, and then the last one, uh, I'm never going to give you up i'm never gonna let you down okay mr shirley get rit rolled on this episode gotta mm. love it how about you Jeremy? get rick rolled after egg roll yeah exactly <laughs> yeah how about you uh Jeremy? uh seriously dude stop touching it <laughs> <laughs> boom that's a winner. That's a it's winner. Because every guy would be like, wait, did he? What? What did he do? Was he watching me this morning? It was bad. Well, uh, I, was, there's I personally masturbate in Chinese bathroom or Chinese uh, restaurant uh, bathrooms as, as often as possible. Man, Chinese laundry. It's the smell for me. That's sure. That's what gets me going. <laughs> the, the MSG. It's, it's, the, it's the D on the little food grade card that uh, <laughs> makes me most excited. It looks like a titty turned yeah, sideways. Exactly. There are 15 more that we could do for this. Probably. Your wife's yeah. seeing another man. I love there's, it. there's tons of them. But I just don't want to think about them. I don't either. All right, guys, that is our questions and preguntas. Again, just like always, if you have any suggestions, you can uh, send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram and Facebook and TikTok. But now we get to move on to y'all's one of your favorite parts of every single episode. Hey, y'all. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is our laughing on the sidelines. Stripped. This uh, this last week, um, I did not lose. I didn't. Good did for you. you. I, I, I got. Did second. you make a belt for that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did. It's the one on the desk. It's a second place bracelet for, for the best <laughs> podcast host of all damn time. You get a third place anklet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. every week we we re up this. It's, yeah, I know it's expensive. Um, but yeah, uh, I I came in second. Uh, Jeremy ended up winning the draft. You fucking I right, I did. Uh, no. The the Green Bay Packers fan uh, didn't didn't win. So, uh, but as always, when we have a guest on the show, they get first pick. So you this can mention week, him by name, Eric yeah, von Eric, Eric von Riker. Excellent guy. Mm -hmm. um, just, uh, just a Packers fan, that's all. Um, that's a problem. That's right. But uh, this week, uh, <laughs> this week, Steve is going to be first pick. I will take second pick. Jeremy gets the championship picks. And this week's draft is going to be the going most. Last. How's that a championship? Because he, he gets two back yeah. to back and back he won. Back. Oh. He won. It's like uh, this NFL. You know what? There should be a fucking lottery for this. Yeah, there should be. <laughs> yeah, there should be. I agree. Oh, Let's yeah. put some balls in a yeah. bingo hopper. That's right. Uh, but this week's draft is the most annoying children's shows. Most mm. annoying kids shows. Okay. And of all time or currently? Of all time. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, okay. Steve, you get first pick. Okay. Number one, because everyone agrees with this, it's Caillou. Oh, no! Caillou is a bald child that looks like he has cancer, and by the time you watch the end of the first episode, you wish he did. No, that is that is not the it number one the pick. Worst. It it's is the worst. It is the worst child's show on planet Earth, and his mom's a dick. No, you got close, though. I know. You, you got real close. Oh, did I? Yeah. Number one, uh, the 101, Dora the Explorer. Uh, that was my number two. Fuck that show. That was my number two. Oh, God. I'm yeah, Dora she's, she's the Explorer. Nothing. Shut up. God. It's teaching. Brian Regan does a great. Bit he does about how how in the pitch meeting it's like somebody forgot <laughs> their job. <laughs> okay, Dave. Um, 
you were supposed to write that song about the map. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm the map. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Okay, all right, Jeremy, you get two back to back. Well, I mostly know kids' shows from when my son was was very little. Okay, mm-hmm. and so I'm gonna kind of go back in the way way back machine. Uh oh. Okay. Because I think you guys both missed marks. Uh, the Teletubbies. Fuck. Oh, that's a pretty good one. That yeah, was one of good. mine. Yeah, that's pretty good. And Barney the Goddamn Dinosaur. <laughs> that was one of mine, too. <laughs> that, was, that was my number two. I was hoping we'd come back. Damn it. Ah, oh, shit. Now who? Well, I, I've got... He, I'm going to say it. Barney is the reason why we are no longer a happy family. <laughs> I agree. I agree with that 100%. He tore us apart, you fucking dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Kick your big purple puppet ass. <laughs> yeah, damn it. That, that was, that's going to be the winning picks. Um, okay, I'm going to go uh, to this next one. I'm going to go with Peppa Pig. That's dumb. Get fucked. I hate that That's goddamn dumb. show. That is the sweetest show on planet Earth. <laughs> really? <laughs> no. I've never know. watched an episode it's of Peppa the Pig. A, I have no idea what that's a, about. It's a spoiled, rotten piece of <laughs> does shit. It, does it get pig. put on a barbecue at the last minute or something? If, like, what is this? If I were writing it, it would. That's it's, awesome. It's, it's, it's honestly, a, it's the only way I can maintain an erection <laughs> is by having that show on. Yeah. Okay, Steve, you get two. So, oh, I get two? You get two in a row, back to back oh man i don't know if i have two back oh yeah i do uh number one paw patrol pete pre getting rid of the racist police dog <laughs> i had that that's, on my list <laughs> and the wiggles oh fuck yeah i forgot about the wiggles mm-hmm. they got some catchy tunes though man i'm just saying yeah i think so <laughs> i've never sure watched it fuck. i have no idea Dude, big red car. Big red car. <laughs> I got that on my fucking iPhone. Uh-huh. I just I'll put it on a loop. God damn it, you took my Paw Patrol. All right. Uh, I I took Paw Patrol pre getting rid of the racist police dog. Right. I understand. there's a de- there's a delineation there that yeah. we need to make sure that we put on the I thing. I, I, first of all, I don't have any kids. You guys have kids. You guys have experienced this. You have I, very I, sweet dogs. I have very awesome dogs, and so you would think I wouldn't have a whole lot of experience in this. However, we have a whole bunch of friends that have kids, mm. and there is there's one show that you would get shit just stuck in your head this from that show. This guy goes to Epstein Island one time, one and time, he has all these kids shows. I have shows all of these kids figured shows. out. I'm going with Bubble Guppies. Oh, that's probably pretty good. Fuck, that's man. pretty good. They, that's they, pretty the good. songs are good enough to where they get stuck in your fucking head and it mm-hmm. drives you nuts. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Okay, Jeremy, you get two. Yo, Gabba Gabba. Yo, Gabba Gabba. Oh, God. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> just, just straight up, just, just fuck them. <laughs> Everything about them just pisses me off. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's your next pick? Okay, I'm not even finding it on any lists here. <laughs> really? I, I may not know the actual name of the show. I remember their fucking song. Those the fucking bananas in pajamas. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, is yeah. That, is that I a know real that, show? Yeah, yeah, it is. It oh, is. Oh, yeah. man. Uh, <sighs> yeah. I'll uh, look it up. I don't know. But anyway, you look it up. I'll, I'll figure it out. Oh, here's, shit. Here's the, uh, who, the thing who? about them. They were bananas. And they were in pajamas. <laughs> they were wearing pajamas. Yeah, that's, so that's pretty uh, good. And they had peanut butter. Uh-huh. No, they didn't. Oh, they didn't? So who's... who's In mine. You? Yep. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I, I can't let myself go without it. Mickey Mouse Playhouse. The Clubhouse? Yeah. The Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. The Mickey yeah, Mouse Clubhouse, that one. That was really Hot really dog. Bad. Hot dog, hot that dog, hot dog. diggity dog. Hot... I fucking I lost my virginity that. to that song. Whoa, I'm sure you did. Oh, bud. I'm sure you fucking did. Okay. All on right, me? You get two more. These are your last two picks. Bob the Builder. Fuck. Oh, fuck. That's a good one. Bob the... Can we build it? Can Go you fuck it? yourself. <laughs> can we fix it? Uh, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And... Uh, oh, shit. Hang on. I don't know. You got, you got to give Bob some... I know. These I'm assholes. trying to... 
It's bananas in pajamas. Yeah, it's bananas yeah. in pajamas. I mean, that is clearly. I mean, there's no mistaking that. I mean, that uh, could be dildos and jumpsuits, I guess. <laughs> but pretty sure those are bananas in pajamas. Oh, shit. Okay. Max and Ruby. Max and Ruby? Mm-hmm. Okay. <sighs> All right. I, I have I have a controversy. This is where I fuck up every single time because I always pick a show that somebody fucking loves. But I uh, I really, truly hated this show so much, and I I don't care. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm going to go with um, the Powder Puff Girls. Okay. I, 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 I fucking hated what that an asshole. stupid show. You just hate women. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Just, just some, massages just, prick. Just that's sometimes. Exactly what's just, going just on. sometimes. Oh, you want his boys around. Yeah. That's sick. Yeah. Little ones. Younger <laughs> younger ones. The Epstein kids. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is so awful. This is great. This is the shit that gets you canceled. Yeah. All right. I would have <laughs> loved it, Fat Albert and the Epstein kids. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Oh. There you go. Mm-hmm. Uh, last pick, Jeremy. Arthur. Arthur. Oh fuck, that's a good one oh, too. Oh yeah, fuck that. Fuck kid. him. Shit. He's a yeah. fucking anteater. Fuck How you. Is, yeah. How Leave the goddamn ants kid. alone. Oh man. I, th- there was some that I'm I re- talking about the Dudley Moore movie, by the way. Oh, that yeah. one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. Um, I kind of. Were there any? Did you? Movie. Did you yeah, have any been. any honorable mentions that you hate? All of them. I uh, oh, yeah, every single when, one. When I, when you're a guy who just wants to watch porn and can't because there's a kid around. True. Now they have these things called headphones and tablets, so you can get away with it if you're behind them. Just now so. I just don't feel the need to hide it. <laughs> oh yeah, put uh, it right on the big screen. I, Airdrop there, it. Okay, there was some. I got it. Looks I got like the super guy, car guy stole the gritty thing from. Totally. All right, anyway. Yeah. Sorry. But uh, honorable mention. I didn't pick it because I secretly do love them, but Power Rangers. They're not annoying. They're annoying as fuck. One of them shows up in the last uh, Star Wars movie. Yeah, they're perfectly fine. Really? There's a chick yeah. dressed just like a fucking Power Ranger. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. What's her face? Who? Uh, Tiffany Amber Thiessen, her. right? Like no. She was a Power Ranger. No, she was no. not. No, that was Who saved. was the hot Power Ranger? I know. All, all the girls. Yeah, Kimberly. Yeah. Kimberly yeah, was the one you're thinking of, but yeah, I don't know what her name is. You want to talk name. about uh, stereotypical and misogynist. Yeah. The pink ranger mm-hmm. wears pink outfit the, or is a, and is a hot girl. The yellow one is an Asian, Asian chick. The black girl. ranger is a black guy. The blue ranger is a gay white guy. Mm-hmm. And then the, uh, you know, red guy, he's a Native American. And then the white ranger, <laughs> white, guy. <laughs> white guy. And <laughs> the most powerful of all. <laughs> he is in charge of oh, the black ranger. Goodness. Oh, goodness. They were all yeah. just kind of on their own until the white ranger showed up and organized <laughs> shit. Yeah, dude, Katy Perry's a little underrated. She has some juicy. Yeah, I know she's good things looking. going on. But do you notice like the next like group of the Power Rangers? If you didn't know this, after the original Power Rangers, when we were talking exactly of the racism and shit, they fucking flipped it around on purpose because of it. What? Yeah, they they, did. they, they try. They were like black guy. No, 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 no. You're gonna be in the blue uniform. <coughs> Uh, oh, white yeah, guy, yeah. you're oh back in black God. Did uniform. Did you see how bad those yeah. things were jiggling? And around. so now the white guy gets shit for being in blackface. Exactly. This is bullshit. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. I mean, what are you gonna fucking blame the Japanese for their racism? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyways, all right. <laughs> that that is, Rita was a great villain. She was. Zed was better. Ivan Ooze was the best though. Uh, but anyways, that is our draft this week. Our most annoying children's TV shows. Uh, you can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines. Uh, click the corresponding emoji with your favorite list of most annoying kids shows. Are you guys seeing this shit? Yeah, I'm seeing it. Okay. Uh, and yeah, that'll be up uh, Wednesday before noon. So make sure to vote. So whoever wins, you know, gets a figurative belt. You think Katy Perry this uses is a push up bra? Speaker? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Katy Perry's half naked dancing, and you guys can't. Now see I this. gotta go buy a new speaker. 
This Kate, is ridiculous. Kate, she Kate really can. makes those speakers look good. Yeah, she does. Oh, I know. She has a couple nice ones. I bet yep. that sound quality right. is tremendous. Those tremendous speakers. I bet you she doesn't use a special bra. Yeah, yeah. she does. That's the double wow bra <laughs> all the, day long. One hundred percent. I thought my wife was Katy Perry at first, right? And then I was like, no. But anyways, guys, now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is what we like to call the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. Um, in October, on October 12th of 1918, uh, some sparks from a railroad car uh, ignited a huge forest fire in, in honor of Steve, northern Minnesota. Nice. Yeah, that's where he's going to freeze his ass off this <laughs> week. Um <laughs> Before too long, the fire was completely out of control. And, of course, back in 1918, fire departments just were not equipped to deal with this, which must have been incredibly frustrating given the fact that most of this took place right by Moose Lake and the Kettle River. Um, Basically, the fire sprung so far out of control that it destroyed 250,000 acres of fire as well as 38 different communities. All in all, 453 people died, and 52,000 more people were severely injured. And now your child can recreate the magic of that moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos, only you can prevent forest fires. (laughs) Nice. Uh, Did I hear that correctly? You guys are sponsored by a beer, and I had to bring my own? Yeah, it's just yeah, that, we it, they're very exclusive. They're, yeah, they're very exclusive. They they we can only get their t-shirts. That's right. We can't even get their beer. What is their beer name? Fanger Bang. Bang. <laughs> they named it after my wife. <laughs> that's great. Uh, d- when that's... she Fanger Bangs my butthole. <laughs> oh, God. It's great. That's why it's Fanger Bang beer, man. Yeah. No, it's good. It tastes like your butthole. He doesn't know. Exactly. All right. So this week's laughing on the si- laughing on the sidelines shitty situation is: Would you rather come in dead last in the ESPN spelling bee, or be forced to watch Caillou, Barney, and Dora the Explorer on loop <laughs> for a fucking week? We're talking child abuse versus cruel and unusual punishment. Which one's which? Oh, so we have to go home to the, the oh, parents. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't think this is the embarrassing part of this uh, this question. This I was going to say. physical abuse. You get me out of a spelling bee faster. That's <laughs> There's no downside to that. No, no. You are going home and getting beaten by your father, Raj. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what do you think? Raj. <laughs> I, I'm going to go... Um, I'm yeah. I'm gonna go with with watching the the shows on TV uh, on a loop, yeah. and I'll I'll tell you why. Yeah. I don't want to be Indian. <laughs> <laughs> you smell funny. I mean, I'm a I'm a I'm a straight white male. It doesn't get much easier for people in this country. <laughs> that's, I don't want to give that up. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, I, I'm kind of with you, man. I fucking hate curry. I hate it. Curry runs through me like hot lava. <laughs> yeah, dude. We, we're talking about the actor Tim Curry, right? Right. Yes. Yeah. No. The no. The uh, Ameri- hate that guy. The Fuck American him. American basketball player uh, Steph Curry. <laughs> but uh, no, I I'm I'm sorry. He runs through you, huh? Yeah, he runs right through. He him. looks like a hot woman when he puts a towel on his head. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, as he m- could use one of those double wow bras. As much for sure. as I'd hate to say it, first off. I don't want to fucking be in the ESPN spelling bee at all. Then come in last. Then go home and get beaten by your parents. I'm out. You are a running punchline at that point. Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's I, really no winners in that. Bring on Caillou, Barney, and Dora. Fucking bitch. I, I, uh, I'm I going to go another way here. Okay. I am very well versed in failure. <laughs> okay. Like, it's... Basically <laughs> carved my life out. Yeah. Uh, it would be no thing for me to take 34 lashings or whatever <laughs> happens when you go home to the Taliban and you, <laughs> you've lost the spelling bee. Uh, 
and, and then and then you, you you still you know you get married at twelve. So <laughs> sure I'm put, fine. I'm put fine. Bamboo I will under your lose. fingernails. Yeah, and then that's okay. It's just <laughs> it builds character. I'll I'll lose the spelling bee all oh, day long. My God. Yeah, that's how much I don't like. I value. I don't know, man. I don't think I would. I just won't want to be in the spelling bee. I think that's torture yeah, I enough. It. I think it's great. Uh, Plus, if, you, if they make a TikTok out of it, then you have millions of followers. That's true. That's yeah, true. Awesome. True story. All right, guys. Well, that is another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Thank you guys so, so very much uh, for tuning in. Uh, before we go, I wanted to give uh, a shout-out. Thank you very much, Steve, for filling in uh, while you can. I appreciate it. Thank you for having I'd me. love to have you on again soon. Hell yeah. Um, you got you got any dates memorized that you know of for sure? Especially uh, in, in the I will be in... Uh, Northern Minnesota. Uh, no, okay. So uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I got dates. There you go. Got, Pull it the fuck dates. out. I got bro. dates right here. Let me let me get you some dates. I'm uh, doing stand up comedy. Yes, stand up comedy. I am going to be in Lawrence, Kansas, January 13th. I'm going to be in Brainerd, Minnesota, January 14th. Emily, Minnesota, January 15th. Topeka, Kansas, 20th, 21st of January. Shin Shin, Kansas. Show in Shin, Kansas. Oh, yeah, that's January right. My haze. Second. Jan- or February 4th, 5th, and 6th, I'm going to be at Comedy Works in Denver featuring for the always funny Daniel Aegis. I have a 30-minute special being filmed March 5th, and then the entire month of March, I'm going to be in New York City, New York, at The Stand, St. Mark's, and something else. <laughs> Fair enough. The Comedy yeah. Cellar. Yeah. The cellar. forgot that one. I don't know which yeah. one I'm going to be at. But I, uh, there's three comedy clubs I got booked at in New York in uh, March. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I would love to be able to go to one of those, but... Just go. I, I know. Fine. Not New York, though. Ah, it'll be all right. I don't, I don't want to go. I'm going to stay in uh, in a bad neighborhood. Okay. <laughs> like fun. you do. <laughs> like you do. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, thank you very much. We do appreciate you coming in oh, and filling yeah. in when you can. Uh, go to stevepeterscomedy.com. There you go. There you yeah. go. Uh, but guys, thank you guys. And then so, uh, this yeah. weekend, oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, Rotten Sausage is playing. Rotten Sausage. Yeah, at the uh, Cedric County Impound oh, Lot. That's the Italian reggae band, right? I love that. Yes. Okay, very yeah. good. That's awesome. But thank you guys so very much for tuning in again. Uh, we cannot thank you enough. We sincerely appreciate everything that you do for us. And as we always like to say, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us, I hope you find a pair of bananas in pajamas in your mom's <laughs> nightstand. <laughs> 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 if you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, can't get enough super golden crisp. It's got the crunch of punch. <laughs> until next time, keep laughing, asshole. We will see y'all later. Take care. Bye!